Hey guys, brand new podcast with the KFC guys. We did this one from Amsterdam. The Top Soft World Tour continues this week in Savannah, then Tampa, then Orlando. Then Tom and I are at the Daytona 500 for a live Two Bears, One Cave. You can get that on YouTube at your mom's house YouTube channel. Then next week, Cedar Rapids, Green Bay, Minneapolis, Grand Forks, Fargo, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Edmonton, Calgary, Kalawana, wana, wana, wana. Tops off world tour and continues into Australia all through um, April. My brain is fried. I am working nonstop. I need a break, but it's not coming until April 19th. And I'm going to push it hard into May because my movie, The Machine, is released in theaters only. Memorial Day weekend. The Machine in, in theaters only. Memorial Day weekend. Uh, so this is it. This is the first look at our new studio. We are not in the studio in this podcast. We are in Amsterdam. As you may or may not know, I did KFC radio over at Barstool Sports a long time ago when we were in Nashville. And I said to them, I'm going to give you a call once and you're going to have 24 hours to get to the airport and go to where we're going. I'll pay for it. I'll my treat the whole thing. But you're going to have 24 hours. I want to see if you're ballers. And so I put them to the test. Uh, we went to Amsterdam. We gave them 24 hours notice. Uh, Kevin Clancy, John Feidelberg. And they took us up on it, and we met in Amsterdam, and we partied our dicks off, and we had the funnest time of our lives. And this is a podcast recapping it. If you want, you can check out their podcast over at it's KFC Radio over at Barstool. You can see uh, we just did a new one that was released today, I think, uh, from us at the Super Bowl. By the way, I need to do a recap on the Super Bowl. There's so much. I'm I'm so overwhelmed with with activities. I'm like, feel like I'm the busiest guy in the world. I literally am going on to a Zoom call right now with Sony and Legendary to talk about the release of the Machine trailer. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. We're releasing it soon. And all I ask is if you're a fan, when we release it, just share it with as many people as possible. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the podcast. My buddies, Kevin Clancy, John Feidelberg from KFC Radio over at Barstool Sports. I always want to get my daughter's cool shit, and I saw this jacket store. They were like, it just looked like a European jacket store, and I was like, oh, I'll go grab them, like a puffy jet, puffy jacket. And they never fucking liked the shit I got. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no. They, Honestly, they like they like you, thrift store stuff. Is there uh, anything right now that is like, like incredibly? Pop- I remember when I was a kid. I mean, my dad every time he went somewhere for work, yeah. get me Beanie Babies. Uh, is yeah. there anything like you know, that? Did I just hear you talk about Beanie Babies the other day? <laughs> I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> no, someone else. Talks no, about no, Shane out. Gillis. No. Shane Gillis Shane was talking about be- Beanie Babies. Uh, I think I've heard that before. I think He's he was a Beanie Baby Beanie kid. Babies. Yeah. Well, oh, I was a big time Beanie yeah. Baby. Yeah. Didn't you have like the like like Princess Diana one? No, and, like, I did. The, That's my, my fucking that was the shitty one. ass dad. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. My dad's the fucking best. But <laughs> Wait, so wait, so wait. I, I mean, like, I'm trying to think if there was a an equivalent to what I would have liked that was Beanie Babies. So I thought Beanie Babies for, like, how old were you talking? Gay. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you're going to say? It was really, it was a joint thing with me and my sister. Exactly. Really, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, but, like, I mean, not old. old. I, like, like, old. Yeah. Older than you. Too, think. too like, old to be collecting I should have been watching babies. porn. I was collecting Beanie Babies. <laughs> I bought the girls when the... When I was on Travel Channel, I would get them snow globes from anywhere I was. Mm-hmm. So they had snow globes from around the world, and they had them up on their wall. And uh, and when we moved to the new house, I said, "What are we going to do with these snow globes, huh, girls?" And they both looked at me and they're like, "Throw them in the garbage." We don't, yeah, uh, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> do, uh, dude, I mean, I, I have, I got younger kids than you, but I always try to do the like bring something home because every dad does. Yeah, uh, and they're like. Whoosh. Don't care, you know. The, the, but I haven't gotten like if you get to the age where you can appreciate a snow globe, I would think that's a nice gift. But I think it's more about just like, hey, I was away for a little bit. Now I'm coming back. I was thinking about you. Well, yeah, but well, I don't think they give a that, fuck about that is, what you I think that's them. what that is. It's is a I, guilt thing. It's a guilt it's, thing. Yeah, I got I, you something because I've been gone. Walked by that jacket store last night, and I was like, oh, I'll run back here and grab them jackets and send them home. And then they were like, I know for a fact they would. Is this our wide shot? We get a few. Um, I cannot wait for my first beer tonight. You're after the show. I have to. I can't. If I start drinking now, I fucking no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, if we had a show, I, I would not be drinking right now. But guess what? We don't have a show. We're in fucking. How fucking, nice. <laughs> How fucking nice! How great! I I live for eventizing life. Like the mo, I I I think it's FOMO. It's why I don't want to die. But the moments 
when things go crazy mm -hmm. and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Those moments. And I got three of them last night. Okay. okay. I, I think got, we all, all have. Right. I, I wonder so how many I overlaps was, there are. I was going to interrupt you and say, that's why I sucked that stiletto out of my ass last night. <laughs> <laughs> I got four of them. I got four of them. I got four of them. I, got four I, I have of a them. feeling. I have a feeling as we start to talk, you're going to have. <laughs> when you said, have like when you said, them. was that I got the same stiletto I got that was in them. my ass? And I was like, how many stilettos do you think were around here? <laughs> I was like, I was like, were they playing with me? <laughs> Dude, oh, bro, fuck. he said to me after that, he goes, he, he, he says to me and Nick, was that really in my ass? And we go, you tell us, bro. He goes, no, 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 was that, was no, the one no, in no. my mouth there, the one that was actually in my ass? There was something in my ass. Oh, yeah. Was that the same thing that was in my mouth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we going back there right now or what? Oh, I can go back again tonight. I got the there was in. There was many of those. There were many of those moments, both wholesome and deplorable alike. Oh. The, the, the oh, my yeah. God moments. Yeah. We we have, so the, the audio, <laughs> which is a brilliant thing, by the way, you thought of, of just audio recording the night throw it in your pocket and let yeah. it go this was the moment the ve like, I was except for when fucking kevin showed up and i'm like i'm recording this <laughs> it's like what they go don't say anything bad Dude, you look like a guy like like uh like they did like the mic'd up for athletes yeah yeah and it's like, like Justin Herbert in particular is like someone goes, yo, mic'd up. He goes, get the fuck away from me. Then. Get the fuck yeah, away from me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. like that. Dude, you might have invented like mic'd up, but for, you know, non-athletes. For, was, for, it... But, but you know, when you put it in, I, I when we started the night, I was like, all right, remember that. Remember that part's recording. And then when, like two seconds later, I forgot. But this was when uh, we were taking a picture outside at the very end and Mark resurfaced. Okay. And we all yes, yes. We are all just. Uh -oh. oh, you were recording that? Yeah. You, uh, where'd it go? No. Yep, here it is. What was it? No! Come back with the dad! And it was just like... So so let's... Okay, we should probably... Yeah, there's a lot to recover. There's re a lot re to recover. So when here. we say that we've refound Mark, we're talking about Mark Smalls, who who had, what well, I would say, a soft overdose on mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like, like he was... Uh, yeah, he. If you can survive the overdose, you know. What yeah. I mean? He he was a he was a, he was a Walking Dead zombie for like a yeah. minute. But he was like, I I don't think you overdose if you acknowledge it. Yeah, he knew it was. Like, yeah. he, he's yeah. like he's like yo, I'm gonna crawl into myself he, right now. He, like, he, if you're he doing put that, his hood up, you're fine. Yeah. Put his shades on and he wrapped like his face <laughs> and he goes, I'm going inside of myself now. <laughs> and then yeah. he did. So it was like it's not even like oh you oh, he, he was like too fucked up to hang. He was like he did he accomplished what he said yeah. out to accomplish. But then you figure he's gone for the night. We're taking a group picture, and and then you know the picture finishes. We all kind of start to separate, and I see him, like at the, out of the corner of my eye, run around in a car, and I, what's that? Is that? I thought it was a fan at first who yeah. just like photobomb, and then I was like, <laughs> it's Marky. <Marcus! laughs> <laughs> High fives and hugs all around. So there's nothing better than the puke and rally, party and rally, nap and rally when you return oh. and people are like. Let's we have our friend, our friend, our friend, the Hayslip's house. We have a place called the Rally Room, mm -hmm. where like if we all start partying around five, you, you like you around eight o'clock, so everyone hits the Rally Room at one point. Love that. Takes a thirty minute nap, then does a polar plunge, and then comes back. I like to acknowledge Dude, that you know you, you need yeah. to. Sometimes you need to do it, and it's you know. So for anyone who just is listening to this and is like, wait, 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 I'm so confused. yeah, we got to set on? it all up. I'll set it up from the back. So nine months ago. We were in Nashville. I was not looking good. <laughs> yeah. um, and we were in Nashville doing your podcast. And I would said to my team one time, I was like, we have three days off. Well, I don't want to fly. We can fly back to L.A., but why don't we just fly to Paris and go have lunch or dinner and then come home and just spend a few days in Paris and then come out back. And everyone on my team shit on it. And you guys are like, they're crazy. Yeah, We would do that in a heartbeat. So then we had planned, starting from that day, that we would uh, – I would take you guys on a trip out of the middle of nowhere, last minute. Uh, you got 24 hours, go to the airport, and we'll, and we'll go to a place. We'll party our balls off, and then we'll come home. And so we had planned it initially at the end of my tour when I was doing Rogan. I was going to leave there, and then we were going to grab you, and we were going to go to Morocco. Jeez. And that was, the, that was the first iteration of this trip. And with, then with, were you tra um, touring there, or that was going to be? No, no, we were just going to go. So that was going to be a vacation. Sure. Like, just go a, to Morocco, you know, right? Just right, go right. to Morocco. And I, I can't remember what fucked it up, but something fucked it up, and I had to go home. 
I feel like I, yeah, I, 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 I think thought I heard the parents. big wire that family showed oh, my up. Parents, my parents, my parents. Yeah. 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 The, the, of the clip I saw. Like, yeah, like, we heard I'm something not... about that. I feel and like so, was... so yeah, my parents. I think my parents came to Austin. They got stem cells, and then we all flew back to. <laughs> to, to I love your life. Going. And so <laughs> they got stem cells. Yeah, and so yeah. Uh, and then and then we were trying. We were gonna. We were like, oh, and we were going to tour Europe. We have four days off. Let's go to Amsterdam. Well, actually, initially we're like, let's go to Iceland, and then everyone's like, hold on, you're traveling every single day. Why don't you just? Why don't we lock down in Amsterdam? And I'm like, great. And so we plan this trip out. And so then we flew you out to Amsterdam from New York. We gave you 24 hours notice. The initial idea was I wasn't going to text you guys at all. I was just going to put it online and let people hit you up. And it was pretty close though, because I got uh, clock starts now text from you. Yeah. And I texted these guys right away. I said, oh my god, it's happening. And I made a video. You just know you didn't tell me what's happening. You said got a text from Bert, and I was like, Bert texts oh, you all the time. Oh, I, I had, pre- I thought I was like, I, oh my I, fucking I, god, I had, I had a feel, I had yeah, a feeling. Yeah. I was like, but Bert, I was, Bert just texted. Sorry, I should have been like, sorry, uh, but then the internet knew it was Amsterdam because you had made a video, but I hadn't seen that yet. So yeah. my first video, I was like, I don't know where we're going. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. By the time I posted, I see everyone's like, enjoy Amsterdam. I had to make another one, being like, it's fucking Amsterdam with the machine. It's great too because we got here. A- almost like two days before you guys and so we got to scout yeah which is great by the way because when you only have one real night to get it in yeah if you if you make a mistake you go to the wrong place whatever it's like ah but yeah you guys did it perfect for us that was the the second we got to the here to this hotel pete was like we got it all scouted out and we did not do manzy did a lot of scouting on his own (laughs) manzy manzy was a manzy Manzy. was an mvp last night Dude, Manzi, Manzi, you were sleeping at lunch at fucking the lunar you, lunch. You put your, you that's went right. inside yourself too. You put your, oh, that's your another, hood on. That's another aspect that we're I'm leaving out. Also, one of my favorite holidays is Lunar New Year. It's Chinese New Year. I don't even know if that's racist to say Chinese New Year because I don't, I, think I don't so. see it. I, I know, but my friend Sandy, who's <laughs> it's Chinese, Oriental New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Bert. Uh, I'm from Massachusetts, and I say no. So <laughs> you're all set, I think. So, but, so it's Chinese New Year. So I said we'll celebrate Chinese New Year. You got to be loud. You got to gamble. You got to eat noodles. And you got and so and you got to wear red. And I was like, so bring red. Oh, I should have brought my other jacket that so, I got. We got ridiculous red. Oh, and so we all met up yesterday you flew in yesterday morning and we met up down here i worked out first so i felt good and we started a full day of partying that ended what time we hit we hit the ground at 9 a.m yeah we get to the hotel by i don't know 10 a.m and we were out like we put our bags in our room and left i was 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 hoping to change my underpants and i didn't get the opportunity (laughs) and when you guys said we should come home to shower i was like shower and then P was like, yeah, they haven't, they were on a plane. They just got off the plane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we went like a full 24 hours, basically. Like, we, we had like a, that three-minute shower. Yeah. Uh, no, it but is. it's different when it's 8,000 miles away. I got pissed away. off when you, not, <laughs> but I got pissed off you showed up in the, and you're like, you were in the suit, you're looking sharp. I was like, wait, is your hair wet? What happened there? <laughs> and you're like, no, it was like a casual, like I cleaned like, the necessary things. Like, you cleaned anything I, at all. It's nonsense. I, I cleaned my dick and balls for sure. <laughs> I just I, I, I just literally put my ass in the shower like this. It's like we're gonna be a lot I, of walking. I literally there. just did that. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I just did. Yeah. It, it, uh but the, yeah, I mean we within you know 15 minutes had a fucking joint in our hand and three pints of beer and yeah. it did not stop oh yeah we went to right first place we went to the bulldog which is and not a- only are you guys scouting we also have tasha who is the this fucking oh, yeah. angelic dream uh tour guide Shh. who I, I i didn't say it to her because you never I, it's a dangerous game to play the do you know who you look like game because people don't always like uh-huh. it who do you think she looks like uh, yeah the girl from white lotus season two the Ooh, new like it i haven't girl. seen it enough um I, and I don't remember her name in the show, but she's Jennifer Coolidge's like. Um, I've seen episode. I, this is the most outrageous thing ever. But I've seen episode six of season two. That's it. That's all I've seen. <laughs> um, Haley Lou Richardson is her name. Haley Lou Richardson. Haley Lou. I feel like she's the new. Uh, because she kind of right now she has th- th- this this I think that's a good representation of why I think she looks like oh her. yeah 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 no I definitely see that <laughs> okay it's, oh yeah right yeah, yeah and yeah, she's yeah. like the fun well you know cool. can I tell you what's crazy about Tasha she'll never listen to this I can promise you that <laughs> um, she it isn't normally blonde haired oh really okay well she's has has been blonde haired for a long time but she has naturally like a uh, soft brown colored hair and it's really curly and it, she looks. 
completely different Changes with dark her hair. Whole look, yeah. And I, I always say to her, and I, I, maybe it's rude, but I know her very well. I, I, she was my assistant on the machine for three months. When that happened, yeah. did she know who you were or was she like works for legendary and that she no, got no, assigned she, to you no, or she did worked. she know who burt was she did not know who i was at all so she, does she still mm-hmm. now she knows she who you still are, doesn't but know. she doesn't she does. get, like, i can no. tell that like, yeah. She, yeah. and that's why she that's knows why knows she's, yeah. she's not like a fan she's not no. fangirling she's not uh chasing clout she's not trying to get hired not at all. it's just like bro we, she's, we were you guys are good to each other to a casino because people knew who you were yeah, oh, and, and, and she's like, and yeah, she's whatever. Like, I don't get it. She yeah. doesn't. But she's she has best. no frame of reference, and and it was interesting. And I, I like again, once again, I'm sure if she heard this, she'd have notes. She'd be like, "That's not how that worked." <laughs> but like one of the the one of the things that blew her away when I was in Serbia was that I had money, like I had money to spend because I was I was there on working, but I was like, I'm not going to be bored. So I got one day, I got a, I was like Tasha because she would just. She'd be in my trailer bullshitting with me all fucking day or smoking cigarettes with the other ones, the other assistants. And so one day I was like, hey, I want a sommelier to come to my house and do a tasting for the crew. So bring them, have them bring like maybe 10 cases of wine and we'll, and champagne, different wines, and we'll all do a tasting at my house. And we'll have food and we'll have invited everyone. She was like, I remember her, she was like, it's going to cost like, Oh, like five hundred dollars, and I was like, "Oh, then get two. I was, gonna, yeah. I was like, <laughs> "And let's do like, it every day about? for yeah. the next week." You know? It's gonna so, cost like five hundred dollars. I remember at one point I got a DJ. I got did a she DJ. Not, you're still the star of like the movie, though. She, it, she, they, she didn't compute. Like uh, they didn't. They didn't know who Mark Hamill was. Like they didn't. Oh know, wow! Like, they didn't, so they, it just, it's just it, a different world. It, and it, it's like she definitely didn't know. Like at one point, they didn't know that I was the executive producer of the movie. Like they just it didn't register. Well, with them. also for them, it's probably just another day at work. Like, right? Like, yeah, I, and they've done do, movies. Like... They've done movies, and they've worked with so, like actors. But actors in Serbia don't make a ton of money. Like, yeah. none, you know, it's everything's kind of socialized there. So even like pr- directors don't make a ton of money. They, I think, they submit their movie to the to the government, oh, and or they have they have some like funded stuff. There's a guy I know. Shout out to Gaga. Who like does his own stuff, but for the most part, oh, I think the Gaga. director like goes to a school and then gets funding and then it gets on television and or they spot. It's it's not the same. There's not the same cachet with it as we have it in the states. Mm-hmm. So she and then one night I remember I took them all to this uh, cabaret club, and she and that's that's when like I mean this right. I hope this doesn't come out wrong, but like the average regular serbian doesn't live like a straight up baller life like 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 oh, we yeah. would you know like yeah, yeah, like yeah. the things we do in new york and la that that's like really fucking like holy shit so to go to this like cabaret clip place that's expensive as fuck i mean it was like six thousand dollars to bar bill at the end of the night and to go there and, and be and sit in the vip section and be and that, they come that, out that's with big sparklers. for uh, anybody for anyone, people, anyone. But and then when really, you live a very if you live a simpler life in serbia it's yeah, like holy it was confusing shit. but so she only knows me as me and I was like, I was, and I, I can, I to help talk her into going to art school here. I was like, so we tried to hire her. Leanne tried to hire her. Legendary tried to hire her to come out to LA. Legendary, She's just yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, and, and she turned it all down though, right? She was you like, said- she was like, she was like, I don't know. I feel like I want to be an artist. And I was like, then fucking be an artist. Like I, 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 I would have said, Go be an artist who also works for Burke Reiser. Yeah. That's, That's what I would have said, but yeah. this isn't You can still podcast. do art. When, yeah. uh, I would do yeah. art and I would live. Yeah, that would have been my choice, but more power she to her. She said, if I go to LA, I think I'll lose myself. I was like, mm. you yeah, definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, definitely will. Yeah, but true. she was our tour but guide. But you'll find a different version of yourself. Yeah. I've, yeah. Lost, I've lost myself a hundred times, dude. <laughs> yeah, loves we her. pick you up in yeah. Boston Found all the time. You Like 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 this version of you that we picked up today is different from, you know what I mean? Completely different than yesterday. Yeah, yeah. This version that woke up at 2 p.m. I was like, wait, what time is it? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were getting time. No, this is uh this is a different version of me. The uh so she was our tour guide. So we took she took us to the bulldog where we had three pints, three joints, three joints. Bunch I remember of fun, everyone, fries lit a, that everyone are... lit a joint at the same time. Yeah, it was and like for no like, reason, but I was like, okay, let's smoke them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, everybody told me you got to get the French fries and the pancakes, and the I was pa- the I, pancakes or flames. I wanted both to, I, of them. I was like, mm. I don't know. There's good, there's good French fries and there's bad French fries, right? Yeah. But like, even the best French fry is still like, I've had some pretty good fries. I it, like it had that crisp, and I was like, oh yeah, no, these are fucking. Good. Even the mayonnaise, they're like, you got to dip them in the mayonnaise. I was like, I've had mayonnaise before. 
Not like this. Oh, I can't tell you, I didn't pancakes. do any of that. Oh, you should do it all, bro. And oh, I did, dude, I, 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 did I did another jalapeno poppers. I didn't do the fries. Oh, the, the no, the jalapeno poppers were like jalapeno poppers. <laughs> <laughs> they were <laughs> nothing compared to. You gotta get the fries. I did the uh, another thing at pancakes for for breakfast. And I had an order of twelve. Damn. I could have, John. I could have had four hundred and fifty of them. I could have just. Blah, 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 they pancakes. are unbelievable. That might be the most lucid. That's when I was at my perfect buzz. When we were I think you said you said that like six different times. I, times. I, I, like, I have a lot because of because there were. I mean, it was no. it was really well done. It was the perfect amount of times where we kind of were just all sitting around, like at the bulldog. The second time, we kind of just all got high and sat there, and then there was that's the, when I was the too wet. high. I was, yeah, no, you I was got perfectly high there, there and yeah. then I was like, and then okay, you went over too the edge. high. Yeah, but and you know, I, you know, you said something that's so true, and I love it. Something very funny happened. I can't remember what, and you had a really good laugh. And you said it brought you out of your high. Oh yeah, and, and it's so true. Sometimes he, he said it was like, "Oh my, ox- my brain has oxygen again," so that's why. <laughs> yeah, but like whatever it was, the table really got a good laugh out of it, and you were like, Bloop, "I'm back." That's when we lost Mark. So we should then maybe that's we, what happened. It was what, like what we should do is we should try to piecemeal our day. So we okay. went to the bulldog, and then we bulldog went to, was early. Bulldog was early, and then First did we go bulldog. buy mushrooms. Yes, uh, on the way yeah, to yeah, we hit we hit yeah one no one we bulldog got was it mu- one bar. No, we we did bulldog, mm-hmm. mushrooms, pancakes, bulldog. No, no, dinner. We're, we're uh, Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese, Chinese casino food. there too. Oh, because well, the casino is a whole separate thing. And then this. Uh, okay, so here's what it was. It was okay. it was it was bulldog. <laughs> it was an event packed day. <laughs> it, it was bulldog, mushrooms, Chinese food, pancakes for like dessert. Casino. Uh, casino. Bulldog number two. Red light district. Red Light District. Or no, Red Hotel Light Bar, District, by the way. Hotel, Hotel Bar, Bar for some martinis and yeah. shit. And Red then, Light District. So we, I mean, we had like seven, you know, seven spots on the tour that were all awesome. And I liked it too because I know like sometimes people want to do like sightseeing and shit. And I'm like, I'd rather like live the fucking yeah. culture than go see things. But also, I, and, and, and this is, you know, I've been here 24 hours. I'm not speaking like someone who knows it, but Amsterdam's fucking, you, I, I got the culture of just walking around. It's a yeah. very it unique is, city. It's very, um, it, it it's has a fucking a distinct gore. look I, to it that I don't know. I don't know. Fucking Luxembourg and other places look like it, but I, I've never seen a spot that you know. I, I, the cobblestone I mean, and the the canals and the buildings. The canals, and, dude. so sick. The canals. Yeah. Nick yeah. almost fell in the canal, which would have been awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he but, thought there was a, a <laughs> fa- like a fa- railing, and he started to lean. And he, oh, shut up! I mean, he was like this close, right? And it's cold, and it was late. It would have been, been great. I was next uh, time take one for the team and just do it, dude. <laughs> I, w- I was here one time. I got stuck here and uh, in tw- twenty four hours. That's it. No, I, li- I literally landed and we got lot. We got missed our flight, so I had to get catch our next flight the next night. So mm-hmm. I was here for twenty four hours. And the one thing I wanted to do was go ice skating on the canals. And I talked uh, to a, and I and I talked to a, like I talked to a local and he was like, "Oh, we ice skate all the time." And I was like, "Really?" Oh, and he goes, "Yeah." He goes, "Go ask a lot of everyone will have ice skates so you can borrow. Just any store you go into." So after like my fifth story, I go, I think he was fucking with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I just told some fat dumb American to go to ice skating on the canal. I was looking at him. I was like, where are the frozen ones? He's oh, like, yeah. oh, they're, you got to keep going. <laughs> That's I did it once when we live, uh, I live in Boston. I, I did once Don the Charles, and that was crazy. Like just yeah. skating on Charles. So here, which doesn't freeze, I don't think anymore. I, as you start telling the story, it's like, I got one. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, the day was pretty much immaculate, except for that fucking casino. Holy shit, man. Uh, Which, in hindsight, though, in hindsight. we went to a casino on a Wednesday early afternoon, and we were, like, upset two, and two annoyed that it wasn't, like, rocking yeah. and fun. We're like, this is sad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Their casinos are this. sad. Yeah. Look at these losers. And then all of a sudden... We get out and the sun's still up, and I'm like, "Wait, it's two in the afternoon." And it's yeah. a work day. Also, I get the distinct well. feeling though, like I don't think that place was ex- like exuberantly fun on a Saturday night either. Maybe I'm wrong, but that place just gave me like the vibe of like I, I it's would guess on a by... Saturday night. It's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. But I was literally throwing up outside, going, "This place is full of losers." <laughs> <laughs> you, you were, you were up. in the casino, going, "These guys are losers." Dude, you had a, you had a one bunch piece, of fucking squares here. You had a one piece bell bottoms with your dick and balls out, and your belly button because the one button wouldn't button. I throwing up on an old Asian woman, going, "These people are fucking losers." <laughs> what a bunch of fucking losers in this casino. <laughs> it, we, we, we we all were dressed in red for the Chinese New mm. Year, and Bert had said. Hot passports, here's your flight, one piece of information, wear something red. And we were like, we're going to go all out here. 
I don't know what that means. One guy goes, one guy pulls you aside, just walked out. He goes, it's the Red Wedding. You don't want to do what he's doing. <laughs> oh, my God. It's where they rape you anally. <laughs> well, we were like, I'm thinking... <laughs> not, not far off. Not far off. I don't want to start dropping stories, but forbearing. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, a little, a little bit of foreshadowing there. Where I was thinking like red, red light district. Like, what if we, what if we have to get on stage? What if there's something planned? What if there's we're gonna do some eyes wide shut well, shit? So we, we got red suits. We got a red onesie with bell bottoms. I got a red tassel like fucking seventies disco. You know, jacket, whatever. We show up and Bert's got a red sweatsuit on. I was like, motherfucker. I, I came this close <laughs> to just buying sweatpants and a, and a, and a red jacket. And I, was I like, thought the problem eh. was going to be me at the strip club in sweatpants. Right. Because I've been I've been lit up for walking into a strip club in, stri- in sweatpants before in Vegas. By just like the, the, By the club? The, club yeah, like, no, it's just too, no, it's man, just too much dick. It's way, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't, I'm such an idiot. I was like, I'm literally my bus is right there. We're leaving and. In 30 minutes, I just want to come in and party a little bit. Right. And the guy's like, dude, not in the sweatpants. And then one of the managers knew me and he was like, he's fine. So I always his have dick this. dick won't be a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I listen to his podcast. He'll end up talking the entire time. <laughs> so, so, uh, but I was like, oh, I have a problem in the strip club. I didn't realize I have a problem in the, the casino. casino. Yeah. I mean, that was well, a again, we're, we're dressed yeah. pretty silly. Uh, a lot of people are pretty, even more casual than you. But have you know pants pants on? But yeah. they're telling him. I li- I'm looking at the guy, and I was like, "But he's rich." <laughs> I was like, "He's the one with the money." So why don't you just let him in? I said, and then what? Like ten minutes later, they were like, "I was uh, like, I'm gonna right this way, Mr. Chinese Price girl." It's such a <laughs> hard a hard path to negotiate because you want to say you don't want to be the who like, am I guy. You but, don't, yeah, or you know who I am, right? Yeah, you don't want to say that because that's obnoxious. But at the same time, you go. I think you'd be willing to bend the rules for me. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I think well, that's what I reason. was trying to do it. I was doing yeah. it in an obnoxious way, but you need a second person to go. Listen, I'm just going to tell you when your manager finds out what happened today, like he's not going to be happy about yeah. it. You and know? so I was doing this where I was like, I did it for Tom when we went into the hospital. They were it was fucking packed. It was the fucking heat of COVID, and uh, two thousand we had 2021, 2020, yeah. no 2020 right. December 2020. Tom had broken his arm and his knee. He's in a ton of pain, and he all he wants to do is not be where in the waiting Everyone room. Else, and they're yeah. like, you're going to be in the waiting room for about 10 hours. And Tom looked at me like, and I go, don't worry, I got this. And I dropped my mask, and I just, Wait looked, until I just somebody... looked around. Yeah. I looked around to make eye contact, and like four dudes in the back were like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then they came over, <laughs> right this way. and they got Tom a private room. And Tom was like, how did you do that? And I go, the stuff that drives you nuts about me? It also works on our benefit fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you need it. And so I, I tried to do that. I was like, I was like, okay. And then I was like, it's I, also easier to do it for someone else. Yeah, yeah. It's in the way name, easier in the name of yeah. a friend who's also in like suffering, I would name drop as much as I oh, needed to. You know, I would never part. do like I got to get in the club. Here's oh, my yeah. name. But if I, I have no, broke his leg, I'd be like, Barstool Sports is here. <laughs> yeah. I, mean? I have no interest in getting into the club. And even in the casino, I said, you know what? It's not a problem. We'll just leave. We'll yeah. we'll do yeah. go somewhere else. And You're the guy's very gracious like, about it. The guy's like, well, I said, I, you know, we can have my my assistant will go buy me a pair of jeans. I'll put on a pair of jeans. <laughs> the and pants he like, store. He's like, yeah, there's pants right around the corner. I was like, great. We'll go downstairs. We'll have a drink. And then all of a sudden, he comes downstairs and he goes, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Here's some comp. Uh, you guys get in the casino for free. Yeah. You're, I didn't realize what was happening. Come on upstairs, please, please, please gamble. And then we got we're like, oh, we finally made it in, and it looks Dude, like not even that. Remember that though? We had to check in. One by one. Oh my god! And they had to type your information in. She was going. She got on the phone for me. There was a problem. It took us. It took us like a half an hour to get in. Yeah. And all we wanted to do was throw some money on red for the Chinese New Year. And but yeah, that scene when we walked in, it was like it only like the, two tables going. Everything else was like, empty. Yeah, yeah, you remember when uh, Kate Winslet goes down to the bottom part of the Titanic? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you're right. No, the, that was the, fun. <laughs> <laughs> That looks sick, bro. I remember being a kid, being like, "God damn, fucking poor people have it right." Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the casino had its own uh, own memories, though. I the 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 Feidelberg mushrooms incident was ho- burned it was in hilarious. my brain forever. I caught a glimpse of him. Uh, honestly, if you want to trace things back, that's that fucking guy's fault. The guy who wouldn't let you in. Really? Well, because I took the mushrooms downstairs. 
Because you were like, we were hanging out. And I was, I was like, like, we're I hanging out as well. Oh uh, yeah. And I took, a, I mean, I took a pinch of mushrooms. I didn't take much, any mushrooms, but yeah, that that got me nauseous. That got me upstairs. You, he it. called it too. He was like, oh, these are not sitting right. <laughs> and and then he also goes, in fairness, everybody told me have it with a piece of chocolate. Don't eat it on a full stomach. Whatever it was, and he was like, I did the opposite of all those things. <laughs> <laughs> but I was at the bar. About- I was at the bar, and I watched a dash of red running. Behind an Asian woman, the Asian and then so throwing funny. up through your hand, and I went, "I'm getting kicked out immediately." <laughs> I saw her. I didn't know what was happening. I saw him going towards the bathroom, and I saw her look over her shoulder, and then keep walking. And then he started to run, and I saw her do one of these, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, like she stepped on a hot I was coal. Like, it's Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God there was a little uh, garbage can there, which you like. Oh, nailed. oh if, that was if it perfect. wasn't there. You were either going on the floor or it was going to be one of those where you try to keep it in your mouth. And oh, it I, I had a fucking bowl of it right here like this. Like, babe, babe, I can't even hear it. <laughs> I literally. Could you imagine if it hit that Asian woman, though? If you throw up on an old Asian woman's back. On Chinese New Year, uh, how lucky that is. On Chinese New Year. We would have had to give that woman. It's like, here's $5,000. I'm sorry. God. Like, you know, scarring incident with a giant, a giant man dressed as like a disco porno Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> and I, would, I would like to say at this moment. The entire group is is pretty like mellow. Mm-hmm. Like we're like kind of just slow rolling our day because it goes from that to that fevered pitch of us in the canal at red light district at midnight where everyone's like, we found everything. Yeah. It's almost like a little episode because now's when everyone's eating mushrooms. We had just had pancakes. We go to the casino. Our whole thing is we're gonna we had a full we can you believe we had dinner planned last night? I was about to say it. I didn't want to interrupt you. I've been put, I've been beating this drum for a long time now. Whether it's a bachelor party or a fucking impromptu Amsterdam trip or a guys trip weekend, even just a big night out, the big dinner is the worst idea, the worst. and it should be eradicated yeah. from the whole plan. You know, every every bachelor party has a steakhouse trip for what? We're all gonna eat. It's it's good. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But then I have a fucking coma and I gotta deliver a baby back in the hotel room. <laughs> God. And and it just it's a tranquilizer dart to the neck. Yeah. And it's always right after a great day of day drinking where you're like, this is great. And then you gotta oh you gotta change your pants to get into a nice place. And you sit there. You do home style or share style. It's the worst. Don't do it. Don't yeah. just keep the party rolling. And that's what we did. Because that ch- Chinese food was fucking phenomenal, and there was so Remo. much of it. Shout that out to the dog, robots that, that, that delivered dog us. That was unbelievable. Yeah. We had we had the robots zipping around delivering the food. <laughs> I got <laughs> stuck. I got stuck on that premise of like, how much cheaper is is labor? We were debating the than the, a robot <laughs> because the people still yeah. take it off of the tr- like, tray. I, I wouldn't so let go like, of that. I wouldn't let go of that. <laughs> like all night I go, there's an Asian dude in fucking Hong Kong or wherever in China. Who's not getting to he can't live get out his dream? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, my dream was to go to Amsterdam one day and play the flute, and I was going to hope to get my brother was going to get me a job at this restaurant. But now Johnny robots. Number Five got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the the amount of the courses were what, what what did you say it was? Uh, uh, you worked with somebody who worked with Lady Gaga, I think it was. No, um, uh, Christina Aguilera, yeah. the tour manager who you guys yeah. been working with, said Christina Aguilera orders. Bert orders like the same way Christina Aguilera does, except Christina Aguilera, he goes, except she does it for like 300 people. Yeah. <laughs> we had a table of 11. I mean, I mean, every single dish in That's the, the, on, dude, on the menu. Ordering. If you're not over ordering, you're a fucking. Yeah. If you're not over ordering, you're not ordering. You're not ordering. Exactly. I, get, I, get, I get angry at Leanne. Who the best is uh, Leanne planned out uh, Christmas. I've told this a number of times now. And it was right when I discovered edibles. Uh, like really eating them ever i would eat them at four o'clock and then slow drink myself into the night mm-hmm. and and then i got everyone in my family my mom my dad my sisters everyone was eating edibles our friends would come over and for christmas dinner i gave everyone edibles oh. everyone got an edible when they walked in the house and everyone <laughs> ate them that's and, great and that man. night good for and you that, and no fights it was funny shit that night we're putting up up food and i go can you believe you ordered perfectly. I said, we have one chicken fried steak. We have a small helping of mashed potatoes. We have a small thing of mac and cheese. Normally, we have so much left over. And she goes, fuckhead, you gave everyone edibles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all anyone did was eat like a fucking savages. <laughs> and, then, and then I realized I had said four nights in a row on these edibles. I go, this is the best 
fucking meal I've ever had of my life. Because you're stoned <laughs> out of yeah, your gourd. I couldn't stop eating these fucking edibles. Also, uh, I think every uh, restaurant, every style, every country should adapt adopt the Lazy Susan. The, the, the lazy the spinning. Susan was just like crazy. I want I that. Because couple... how many times are you? Pardon my rage. You got your armpits and other people's yeah. food and yeah. shit. Just <laughs> lazy Susan little, was great. And I, spin? was it Peter or Manza said? I think they should. Uh, we should have had this at the banana room last night. <laughs> <laughs> lazy Susan would have been pretty nice. That would have made it logistically a little bit easier. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> essentially did. To be honest, we were all sitting around a round table. She was moving. <laughs> yeah, she mimicked. She, her name yeah. was Susan. She wasn't lazy, but Ooh, she was not lazy. There was a couple Susans there. So then. <laughs> So then, so we go to the casino. We get we, all these events lead up to the casino. Is when the casino is when things start. That's when it, things start ramping up because we go to the casino. We put you put a thousand on red. I, you, I I said this to everybody. If you don't know about me, if you don't know it about me, I have I'm the biggest motion in the world. I just. My sports teams don't win. I don't win, like you saying that. But, you know. I don't, no, I don't think so. This is the only thing in my life that's <laughs> ever like, so. worked out is this. No. But, I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't I, think you're I, well, I'm telling you, like, I don't, I don't win two grandfather well, clocks. Well, sometimes, you, I don't sometimes win. you lose gambling. Hang on. We're going to have. It's going to be you and me. Real quick. All intervention. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you win all the time. <laughs> all you do is win, 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 win. There's people like Bert who win all the time. I am and then the luckiest yeah. person yeah. you'll ever meet in your life. And My you wife know has it. said that since day one. Since day one when she met me, if it is if it's a school raffle, I, I will buy and if I like normally, I mean I did this in my hour, but in my new hour, I buy. I will buy like seven hundred dollars worth of tickets. I, I love yeah. that energy. I yeah, love that energy. Like... But I, this is a perfect example. When we, Mike Young, me, Butch Bradley, Steve Byrne, and Brett Ernst were were doing uh, Atlantic City together, and I said to them, "I am the luckiest guy you'll ever meet. Just having me at your craft Ride table, my wave, yeah. We'll, 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 you guys will all win." And Butch Bradley put a hundred dollars on twenty. And they spun it, and everyone's like just staring, staring at me, and it hit twenty. I and believe Bush Bradley thinks, goes, "Holy shit! No fucking way! Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just the lot." I mean, look, I, I never, I, never studied. But, but, but the thing is, I don't even think it's luck. I think there is something. I think it's the mantle gene yeah. mixed with like pheromones or something. I think there's something tangible. I, I don't know how science can prove it, I, I think but if I you believe, believe there's I think something if you believe about guys luck, like Bert. If you believe yeah. in luck, and, and then it's, you go, it's real. It's yeah, going to be. Real. It's like I remember hearing someone one time say, uh, "You ever notice that every time you get in the shower, the phone rings?" And then this therapist was like, "No, it's what you're doing is you're identifying, uh, you're identifying that." You notice that, so now anytime it happens, you go, "It always happens." Yeah, it's, always, it's not that it always it's happened happens. twice. Yeah, yeah, it happens twice, yeah, yeah. but it's happened. Maybe it does happen a little bit, but you've identified that that is something that happens. Well, I think the same thing can happen with luck. My wife thought she was the unluckiest person. She thought she will always be poor. And and I remember one night, one morning, we were broke. We were really broke. And she was working her ass off. And, and we had a nanny to help try to pay for things. And we're in bed. And she starts crying. And she goes, I feel like I jinxed you. And yeah, I said, what like do you mean? I brought like, my black cloud yeah, over you. Goes, I got yeah. a black cloud over me. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm like... I'm really unlucky and I'm always been poor and you've never been poor and now you're poor. And I went, I said, I'm, I don't think I'm poor. She goes, you're very poor. <laughs> and I said, I said, I don't think I am. I don't, I don't feel poor. Not and really. she goes for real. And I said, no, I don't feel poor at all. I don't. I said, I said, I think I'm so lucky that I will make you lucky. So just wait for a little just bit. It it'll happen. And I'm now telling look. you, man, I, but I think I, the same way those person, every time I look at the clock, it's, it's, 222 and yeah. they go, oh, that always happens i think i identify luck and i go and those are the ones i highlight i'm sure there's bad shit that happens to me all the time i just don't well, notice it well it is funny. Time okay so that's, that, yeah. that's funny you say that because so i step up and uh it's chinese new year red 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 i'm like i'm gonna put a thousand on red we're gonna double this up boom instantly black <laughs> like, yeah. and i knew it and the whole table got cleared off and you you had placed a bunch of bets. I placed a bunch of bets and, on that bet, and, and nothing, we, nothing hit. And I went, "Well, oh, fuck." And then and then so it was it was the culmination, the puke, the loss, the 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 smell, the look. It was like, ugh, this place. And Burke goes, and the worst part is, man, I, I don't even feel anything. I don't even feel <laughs> anything. The win, the loss, the high, the low. I'm not even feeling anything. Like when she cleared the table, I, I was like, I was like, God damn it, man. As he finished saying that, though, the next ball, and you win, and you go, oh. I feel 
it. I was lying. I was lying. I feel it every. I feel it all. I'm and, and yelling the at people, like strangers. I feel it. The people they wouldn't let into the casino were downstairs, and they're Mark Smalls, and he's like. He, they didn't have their IDs, and he goes, I think they might have just won. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took, well, after that first bet, I put like, uh, I think I put $500 on the table or something, and then I, and then I, it, it missed, and then I was like, I wonder how much money I have left in my pocket, and I think I had like $1,000 left in my pocket, and I went, oh, I'll just put it all in red, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. In my head, I was like, I'm looking for the feel, the 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 razzle dazzle that goes on in your heart when you when you have money mm -hmm. on something and you mm -hmm. it's better than a buzz it's better than a buzz yeah. sure yeah and well, that's uh, why I get, you know that's why people do it it's, yeah it's, <laughs> and I put it down and I just look at you and I was like I'd say. I don't feel it and I go the sad part is I just don't feel it I don't feel it and then I hit red and I go I feel it I feel it there was also you we were standing next to I don't know maybe the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life she was uh, gorgeous. Wednesday afternoon just throwing down money on the roulette table and i wanted to like whisk her away and be like we're gonna start you an instagram page oh and God. you're gonna be flying to dubai with guys in like the next five minutes like i wasn't i wasn't, I wasn't there for that and i remember i came back and you guys were like grabbing me being like you gotta see look, this girl. look at her she like, was the, the stories perfect. like i love i love i love those moments like looking at people and i'm like where whether it's a good story or a bad story what led you to be here at this casino wednesday afternoon by yourself just and usually those are some you know, tragic stories. Yeah. But I also was like, what this gorgeous girl just solo. I was like, I'd love to have you on the podcast and just tell me not, what is Yeah, how does she how did not someone else notice how beautiful her wrists were? She had the most perfect wrists. No watches on it, just perfect wrists. And even you you were going crazy and you said, Did did you win too? And she just said, Yes. Well, hang on. We're gonna move by perfect wrist that fast. Listen, <laughs> I, she had perfect wrist. I, I think. Every, I, look, I I love it. Like ankle. Angelina Jolie. No, love but see, see, okay. Like, so that's I, I, can, I let it slide it. because I like those. Yeah, I like yeah. A, a neck and like a clavicle. So I everybody's oh, a got clavicle. Their thing. Come on, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like tits and pussy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I like, I've I've seen women whose sternum fucks. Fucks up their tits, <laughs> like their sternum's too small. Like you ever seen a chick whose sternum's too small? Wait, no. Like, like, they're, like they're, her tits are wider chest, than her. Their actual oh, chest yeah. is yeah. smaller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but they, and they don't fit right. And you're like, mm, I, don't, I don't think you can fix that. <laughs> it's like when people have too much gum and not enough tooth. Oh, it's tough. The gum well, they too. can fix that, you know. Yeah, but it's horrific. Yeah, the, they is say it really like like any sort of gum surgery. You know, when they talk oh, about gum, gum replacement, you know, well, it sucks. It's gum. Like, I, I need gum replacement. I also Where? need all of my because I chew tobacco for much most of my life. Yeah. I chewed tobacco for like fifteen years. And like all of my lower gums are just fucking gone. Didn't Ooh. they tell you that it's so harsh they do you do one gum at a time because the surgery is so it, tough. It was, it's, they, they were like, it's pretty aggressive. They yeah. were like it would be one Tooth, every like I think they said every eight weeks I could do oh, a new one. I'll kill myself. And they were like, and you need forty. And I was like, well then fucking no. <laughs> that's one of those things. <laughs> like, like, uh, I'll just you know what I'll do? Oh, I'm gonna, my lip will cover it. Yeah. And that's that. <laughs> Pete was with me. I they had said to me a long time ago. They were like, uh, your back molars are gonna be a problem when you get older. And I was like, okay. And uh, like, I, you, like, you just, like you, cavities or no, like, I, like my the jaw shape is shaped weird. So my jaw is shaped at an angle. So like when I bite, my front teeth don't touch. But but my back teeth touch, and they're like, one day you'll have to deal with this. And Pete was with me <laughs> the now. day I had to deal with it. Oh, really? The day they told me it was a bad day, <laughs> the guy was like, well, what we're going to do, number one, is we're going to break your jaw. Then we're going to remove all your teeth and replace them. We're going to put, and I was like, hold on. I was like, wait. I'm sitting there going, give me a second. This is a lot to process. I go, I, I, when, how long is this going to take? He goes, like, a year. And I said, I don't have a year. <laughs> I go, what do you mean a year? And he was like, I go, is it going to change the way I look? And he goes, oh, yeah. Are you in pain? Like, what's the need? So I was in pain. I was in pain, right? Does it stop I was in a lot of pain. I was in a lot of pain. I was going to say, if it doesn't hurt or, like, it's not dangerous. No, it was. I was in a lot of pain. And then I was like, I was like, hold on. And then Leanne is so grounded. She's like, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's, because Pete, I was like, the fucking sky is falling. And he was like, we're going to. We're gonna have to take break your jaw, and he's like, "It'll change what you look like." And I go, I'm, "I've spent a long time getting people to recognize this face so that I can make money." <laughs> this is the money yeah, maker, yeah. baby. Yeah. I go, don't break I the money maker. A good looking face, but I don't want to change it. <laughs> and so, and then they fixed it. I went. I tell you what, you got to do. You got to find fucking uh, uh, Spanish doctors, a Spanish speaking doctor 
I think I don't know why, but they just do. They it's almost like like they. they I don't. I, I I don't know the right reason, but every time I've gone to a Spanish speaking doctor, they they fix it without it costing a ton of money. Really? So what he did to me was. <laughs> It's, it's always in America. Right? Go this find America, Spanish America. speaking yeah. doctors. They don't fucking this jack up the price. Great. They don't he, hustle you. He's like, I got you. He's like, we're, we're going to play a game. I am going to see. I'm going to put fire on the other side of the window. I want to see how close we can get you to that window. Okay. And I was like, I don't think I follow. And he goes, just tell me when you feel the fire. No Novocaine, no nothing. And he just takes a drill and just goes. And starts drilling in my tooth, and I'm like, no fire, no fire, no fire, no fire. And I go, oh, I'm feeling warm. I'm feeling warm. I go, I'm feeling fire. I'm feeling fire. And he goes, I was okay. That's good. Now we see how close we get to fire on the other foot tooth. And he does it. And I go, I go, no fire, no fire. And Leanne's sitting there, and she's like, good. He goes, that's good. Now what do we do? We fill those both up, and we have you out. I said, you don't have to break my jaw. And he goes, I am not going to break a jaw. I, I was going to say, that sounds <laughs> yeah. fucking he goes, crazy. I'm not going to break a jaw. <laughs> we get, he goes, now your daughter, she might have a broken jaw. But. <laughs> <laughs> and so this guy, who, these people who said that both me and Georgia, they were going to have to break our jaws and everything. This, this one guy's like, they don't have to do that. He's like, let me tell you something. He's like, that's. He goes, that, that's a doctor that wants a boat. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, am I the only one in the it? room who got a little turned on by Bert's Spanish accent? <laughs> by the way, I, I, I sexed that guy up, too. I mean, dude, that was, yo, <laughs> I was pictured the hottest guy in your <laughs> mouth. And I was like, fuck, I'm yo, horny. Yo, you over two here. had a moment. <laughs> yeah, this fucking gorgeous man walked oh, up wow. on the yeah. streets, uh, uh. walking the canals. This guy was a Ken doll right out of the box. Beautiful hair. Air Force Beautiful ones. Beautiful corduroy jacket. Great, great, Air Force great One. This nice pair of jeans. Yeah. Shoes, great tall, tall, blonde hair. Lean. Walked right up towards the crew. I thought he was a fan at first because he went like beeline. And he said like, do you have a lighter? And these two guys were like, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, it's my turn. My turn. Do you want to kiss on the list? Can I, get I was your legitimately happy I beat you. I was like, <laughs> I, got it, I, got it. I, I was for real, like not even not kidding. At all. And, I was happy I beat that you. That guy lit a light. cigarette and yeah. went both. You go, well, that fucking. He guy. lit two Holy cigarettes. Shit. He lit two cigarettes. You remember that? That, that guy was, was like, that was, I was like, oh, who are you with? <laughs> yeah, when, when he changed, I was like, oh, my goodness. For some reason, that was crazy hot. That guy walked by. He was like, those two, like you guys. I wouldn't have thought that either of them were spot. gay <laughs> on account of how they're dressed, but somehow they both are. The um. The moment I, I that made me the happiest is when we were at the hotel bar, and uh, and we separated, and the girls stayed, and we went yeah, off. Yes. That's when I was like, yeah. it's, now it's getting very right, real. Right. <laughs> Now's when it gets real. Yeah. And man's got his little his strut walk where he gets it ten feet ahead of everyone, and you can't catch up with him. He's like, <laughs> take a right, take a right. We go man left. on a mission. <laughs> man's on a mission. It, it's funny. Uh, we just had this whole guys and girls trip thing at Barstool. It was the big debate of the week about can girls go on guys trips and can guys go on girls trips. And, you know, the girls who we were with are like the coolest chicks in the world. Yeah. And it's still, it's just going to be a little different every time. You well, know? we've done, we went to a place called The Box. In, New, you, in, in New York or in, here? In London. Okay. I think they're, I don't know if it's the same, but The I, Box is in New York. If and, it's the same, I don't know how it hasn't been shut down. Yeah, uh, it, it was the most, the same the, it was the, the, the most the, intense experience the, the I'd tale ever fucking I knew, seen. I never went, but the tale I was told by my like my guy friends is there was three like acts, and um, I think the first act was like some kind of generic like pussy tricks and like sex or whatever. Yeah. The um, second act was <laughs> a chick just took a shit in a pizza box, yeah, <laughs> and uh, the very, third act very, very was some guy took he tied off his dick. And like it was like soft, but he kind of like pinched it so that it was full. And he took a needle, like syringe of some sort. Nobody knows what was in it. And he went ah and, and put it in his dick and collapsed to the fucking ground on the stage. And they were like Finn. And that was the end. Like close the fucking yeah. uh, curtains. His well, heroin was a French film. Right? Yeah, <laughs> we went with that our we went with our whole crew, and and there's females on our crew, and I had to be like, I and I I didn't even know what it was. Well, actually, the one of the females booked it. And so, what's the matter? I thought you were looking at your phone. The uh, One of the females booked it. And so she was like, we have to do this. We have to do this. And we were like, great, awesome. We don't know what it is, but we're like, mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And then when we got done, we're like, okay, 
we should have been asked for consent. <laughs> yeah. That's something very aggressive. Yeah, that was that was borderline <laughs> illegal. That was borderline like out boundaries. Yeah, yeah. And so then when we came here to start scouting, we had said to our group, "Hey, this is not. This does not need to be for everyone. We can. We don't have to do this at all." Right. And everyone's like, "No, I want to do it. I want to do it." And then. And we did it all with our group, and it was fun. Wait, now you were saying not... that to the girls or even the guys? To the girls. Oh, okay. to I the was going to say, were you guys you were asking for the guys' consent? Because <laughs> that would be like crazy. Uh, and so I said, uh, I probably said it to the group, to be all honest with you, because I'm about to alienate. But, right, but we, went, we went with the, gr- the group, and it was fun. We laughed. We had, a, the, we had the same moments that we had with you guys, except it was so much better with just dudes mm-hmm. yeah. where you don't where you're where you're not measuring yourself and you're just saying Dude, the things just guys being dudes like <laughs> there's just it's fellas it's, <laughs> it's, it's that and and i it's it's almost sad in a way because there are awesome chicks and there are moments that you you kind of wish you could all share yeah but it's just like and it's, it's honestly not about them it's about me. I will act differently. And most, you know, I don't know, I'm a little more mature. Or I'm a little more whatever. And it's yeah. like, it, when you're around a bunch of dudes, you can just fucking be a piece of shit. <laughs> there's no, there's, there's, there's be, no existence of vagina is what you're saying. That's that, you, The void of vagina just makes there's, it be like, eh, let's There's a thing whatever. that happens. I noticed it. Like, and I, play vagina. <laughs> we grew up in strip clubs in Tampa. Like, Tam- oh, yeah, Tampa's that's, that's like. the capital. And there's a thing that happens that I noticed that, like, uh, I'm a. I'm more I'm I'm just hyper aware of my behavior. I'm really hyper aware of my behavior now because I notice people film me a lot I when I go to strip clubs. So I don't really do like I'm I, and like even even like uh if I'm getting a lap dance, this is so fucking horrible. I realized I did this last night. Is I know there's cameras in there and they're filming those. And by the way, man's is like they're not filming them. They're definitely they're filming, filming all everything. Everything. They're filming all of it. Yeah. I make faces. <laughs> like I go, and i do this thing i don't know well, if you I saw it like last night but i put my hands on the couch yes. i keep my hands keep on, yeah, on the couch yeah, yeah. and then she goes you can touch and i was like no, no I, can't. I can't no yeah. no, no i can't yeah. i can't just fucking play with your tits in front of everyone right well that right. happened to me the for the first chick when we were at all the oh, table this is the best and like i went bad titty oh, rubber oh my whatever. god and she was like, she's like, that's not how you rub tits. And I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. You're like, telling me now? <laughs> like, I put my 10,000 hours That's in. my favorite move. My favorite move is I, to push the tit up. I move. will be fair. You rub tits the way I rub tits. <laughs> and I obviously did not. John, he went underneath with this, was, with this part of his hand, you know? Like under I the tit. Have- and like then, you're trying to lift her up out of bed, like kinda, fucking, and then up and over. Like I'm I just feeling was, the whole titty, man. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe we're wrong because he's looking a little confused too. Maybe we don't know how to rub tits. I went, you know, I usually go under, but I guess that's also when you're like with, you know, you're in bed with someone, and you're getting a little more. Bro, like, that's aggressive. almost exclusively how I rub tits. Me too. In bed with a me, person. Me too. <laughs> well, that's what I mean, though. We're in a different scenario. She said to go. She, I couldn't believe she dropped the Karate Kid reference. She said, "You know, Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off." <laughs> So she want she wanted just I like not she just wanted the palm like yeah. this and I was like what's, what's next the like under the cheese fence? feel like dude come on let me get it that sweaty this show is sponsored by BetterHelp when you're at your best you can do great things sometimes life will get you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed like you have too much on your head you can't see forward and you're not showing up in the way you want to working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you because when you feel empowered. You're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. Trust me, life throws a lot at us. And I am one of these people that gets overwhelmed, gets bogged down, can't live in the moment. I love living in the moment. You need to get yourself there to live in the moment. And sometimes for me, working with a therapist is is the way to get there. If you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient. It's flexible. It's affordable. And it's entirely online. Let me sell you on it being entirely online. That means that it's on your schedule so that you get to have therapy when you want to have therapy and just for that one hour. Therapy shouldn't take two hours. And if you're in traffic, if you're waiting in a waiting room, it's going to overwhelm your day. It's going to ruin your day. All you got to do, fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched to a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Burt today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Burt. Breaking news. Manscaped is now selling beard products. That's right. They've gone from waist to face to help you replace that bulky razor with their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Manscaped help you get the goldenrod of a Greek god. And now they've created the best tool for you to turn heads 
with a clean, perfectly groomed and conditioned beard. Finally, tame your mane by going to manscaped.com and using our promo code BERT for 20% off plus free shipping. This kit is about to change your life. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit has made it easier than ever to craft your signature look. This kit will take your facial hair anywhere from Gandalf to totally bare. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. I love this. This is, I am so can't wait to use this. I cannot even tell you. I, and, I, and I'll tell you why, because I trust them with my balls and I, and, and they're, I'm, this, I'm going off book on this, but I've always used their trim to touch cut my lip because of the way they did it. These guys know how to sell stuff for dudes with hair. It all starts with the beard hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this is waterproof, cordless. It has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard. So there's no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. This is awesome. And I'll tell you why, because I travel with my beard trimmer. And now all I have is one thick thing, because with 20 lengths, it's never been easier to find your signature beard look four on the sides, eight on the chin. Plus the trimmer has a titanium coated T-blade that is tough on hair, but smooth on your face leading to single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction with one stroke at a time. The Pro Kit is much more than a trimmer though. It comes with four dermatologist tested formulations for your post-trim care. It has the beard shampoo and conditioner. All your hair is different, that's true, and the beard hair is much more coarse and easier to damage. That's why the kit has shampoo, conditioner, specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hair, and replenish your natural oils, promoting beard health. I cannot wait to try this, and I will be putting it online. I can promise you that, and they're not paying me for that. So get 20% off and free shipping with our promo code BERT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping, and use our code BERT at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com, but you have to use our code BERT, the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit, the premier solution to face grooming. So wait, what were we talking about before the car went down? Um, uh, uh, fuck, I said to myself, we should remember exactly. No. Uh, the teeth and the... the oh, oh, could you I said, do that? I, I don't think it was an oh. age, age thing for you. Oh, you yeah. turned to me and looked me right in the eyes and you said, I would go up there, but I got to take the biggest shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think otherwise, I you would have been up there. I would have, I... I because she was, she was down. I mean, the only reason that I, that I, I had a moment of like clarity when I went, okay, number one, you're going to be naked. Everyone, if you're gonna be naked, which I'm fine with. I don't problem with that at all. Girl's gonna be putting a magic marker up your asshole uh, that's been in her pussy, <laughs> just giving you a heads up. That's the problem. And then I was like, oh, and yes. I was like, the mixing oh, number, and matching. Yeah. Number two, and by the way, I don't know if you just noticed they were rinsing them. They were just rinsing. Yeah, them. it was just. Rin well, well, you that, know, I mean, that, bro, that's what I do with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> how, about, how about the rag that? Really, I'm scrubbing my hands every time I fucking take a shit. No. How, how about the hand, the, the rag for the lotion that they gave? The oh yeah, rag. it was just a lotion ass rag. Nick, Nick was. I'm happy that it was clean for me. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, it wasn't clean. Yeah. The, the, the funniest thing was when when uh, Shane went. It's like a snake draft because it went around <laughs> and then back, so we got to go twice. <laughs> The problem, the problem. But yeah, so two, yeah, naked, the, this is the third marker. one is that I go, if they do have cameras, they're going to have footage that will break the internet. Oh my with God. With comedian Burt Kreischer puts a magic marker up his <laughs> totally. ass and signs an autograph. Totally. But if you and had no done one, it, they would have, no one would watch that video. <laughs> you, you, would, you would get, honestly. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. I'd I, watch that in all. Perfect. Yeah. How many, what was the, what was the total number of these? Like, I'm sure you don't even know, but like, didn't the machine hit like 100 million views? 88 million. 80 million. That would hit a billion. Uh, <laughs> One, you would get like a. a I think a it would fifth depend on the world would watch that. There video. would be, there would be no way. There, I, it would have been, and so I was like, ah, you're you're setting yourself up for something you don't want. You're gonna have to deal with the rest of your life. Which is such bullshit because they, I mean, obviously those cameras should all be. It should be for security and safety, yeah. and that's it. But I think they would almost be like, well, we, we have to we have this to out, right? Like, we'll we call TMZ. To. We've, we've got to do this. I had, a, I had a video one time when uh, that I was praying never got released. At the Mall of America, they had uh, used to perform in the Mall of America, and then you'd go to the hotel, and there's a glass window. I didn't know there was a glass window. There's a glass window that would close off the hotel at a certain hour. I didn't know that because I'd, I'd never stayed in the mall past 2 a.m. So one night, I was there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So... Thursday, I get done one show. I come back, the thing's open. Friday, I have two shows. It's two in the morning. I knock, I, and the window's closed. I'm like, fuck. So I hit the buzzer. I go, hey, uh, can you guys open the window? And the guy goes, are you crippled? And I go, no. And he goes, 
uh, then I can't open it. I said, what do you mean? And he goes, if, if you're not handicapped, I can't open it. And I was like, oh, I'm with a dude in a wheelchair. And he's like, I don't believe you. I said, no. And he goes, let me talk to him. So I'm like, so I squat down and I'm like, hey, man, I'm, cr I'm crippled. Can you open the thing? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I think that's you doing the voice. I go, <laughs> no, man. No, it's me. And then I go, hey, it is me. I'm with him, and I we got a blind guy too. I'm also, <laughs> drunk. I'm, also, I'm also drunk, and the guy's like, I only talk to the blind guy. So I turn around, so with my back to the thing, I'm like, I'm blind as fuck, man. Open the thing. <laughs> so he goes, so, <laughs> he goes, no man, I, I can't open it. You're gonna have to walk around. So I was like, all right. And so I, I hit the buzzer. I go, you guys are fucked, man. This guy's being a dick. <laughs> Good luck. I tried to help you out. But See you later, blind own. guy. <laughs> so I walk around the thing, and I walk into the hotel, and the guy's behind the counter. And he goes, were you the guy with the blind guy and the deaf guy? Or the blind guy and the guy in the Probably. wheelchair? And I said, yeah, have you seen them? And he goes, wait, they were, they're real? And I went, yeah. I was like, it's on you, man. And so I just went to bed. <laughs> so the next night. <laughs> Blood's on your hands. <laughs> next night, I don't even try to go to the window. I know it's going to be closed. I just walk around. It's my last night. I'm leaving Sunday morning. And I walk in at 2 in the morning. And there are four black dudes standing behind the counter. And they are so fucking excited to see me. And I was like, what's up? And they're like, hey, man, where's the blind guy and the deaf guy? Or the blind guy and the guy in the wheelchair? And I said, oh, I haven't seen them in a while. And they they said, really? And I said, yeah. And the one guy goes, you know we have video of that. <laughs> no. And I was like, what? And he goes, we've been watching it all day. It is the funniest thing we've ever seen. And I was like, hey, man, I was like, you, I have a job at Travel Channel. You cannot release that. And he was like, buddy, is four black dudes. The guy goes, big guy we've been trying to figure out how to get it off this goddamn computer all day <laughs> and it just deleted oh. and there was on a 24-hour loop no. and he goes we have been calling everyone trying to get that video to go put it up on the internet and he goes we couldn't figure out how to get it off Dude. and i was like oh thank god but that how, that would be so funny i was gonna say now that. now, yeah, now yeah, back now, then you get fired yeah, yeah. and it's, it's like it's the video i had there was video of me working out in my naked at barnes and noble in the basement because what? I worked at the Astro Place Barnes and Noble. Do you remember the Astro Place Barnes and Noble? Vaguely, yeah. Yeah, but there was no air conditioning in it. And so I worked the information booth and and the travel section. And one day this uh, gay dude, I think his name was Andrew, was like, he wanted to go downstairs and get high. And I was like, what? He goes, if you take the freight elevator down, you no one can walk in on you. You have the elevator. And it's like they have to like yell from the, hey, send it back the, up. Yeah, send it back up. Yeah. So he's like, so I go down there and I'll smoke a joint like first thing in the morning. And I was like, yeah, let's go down. So we walk down and he lights a joint and we just, it's all books and just open space. And we sit down on some books and we smoke a joint. He'd, and he would do this every morning. He'd tell me about his one night stands because he had just come out of the closet oh, yeah, from like yeah, Oklahoma. Yeah. And he would be like, he'd be like, dude, and he'd tell me the stories. And I was like fucking fascinated. So then one day I take the freight elevator down and I'm like, I don't want to go back up. I was like, I should work out a little bit. So I take off my, I take, it's hot. There's no air conditioning. Yeah, so I take yeah, off yeah. my shirt, take off my pants. I'm naked. I'm doing push ups, And then I, and then I dry off, like dry off with towels or like little paper towels. Put my clothes back on, go up and, and just, you know, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm assuming I was wearing boxers at the time. Only I don't wear underwear, but I, I, I I'm assuming I was wearing boxers at the time. <clears throat> Wait, you don't wear underwear at all? I don't, I, I, I don't, but I've, I've got, it's gotten way worse the older I've gotten. There were times where I wore boxers, but it's gotten way worse. Jeans, the everything, I, everything. No way. <clears throat> and so, um, can so I then, interest you in a jock strap? I, I just, I just put one on the other day. Did you? Yeah, it, so, I look so, so bad. <laughs> I was doing so good on my weight loss until yesterday at that fucking Chinese restaurant. I had a <laughs> bubble of food, dude. I, I, I maybe, maybe in the short run you are, but the comparison from Nashville till now, you were. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I and I didn't notice it. You, were, you know, you were just wearing a jersey and a hat in Nashville. You looked like. Bert always looks, and now seeing you and the flashback to that, I was like, "Whoa, I know. whoa!" You said, Ed, and you're right, and I, I, but that makes me think that who gives a fuck? Well, also, there's I, no reason I think to lose weight if no one notices. Like, yeah, 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 no, 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 like, you know what it is? Yo, now you look great yeah. in juxtaposition to what you look it's, like. If I look like that all the time, then this it's is what I look like. Only <laughs> pictures and video, man. Yeah, having pictures and video, it's the same thing with like clothing and shit. Like. You look back at what you're wearing. Never, There's never been a moment where I'm going like, oh, my God, these clothes are silly. I look ridiculous. But 20 years from now, I'm going to look at this outfit and go, oh, cringeworthy. Uh, but in the moment, yeah. you never think like, oh, I'm going to look stupid. You never think, oh, I look my worst. It's just that we are on camera and take pictures so fucking often. I never once thought about my appearance beyond like, 
I, you know, I want to like, oh. I like that shirt. Let me buy it. I, when I, when we started putting our faces and putting ourselves out there on Barstool, <clears throat> people start talking about my hairline and if I'm fat. And I was like, I never in a million years, me and my friends yeah. never talked about that. No. And now all of a sudden the internet's like well, telling you, you. No, you didn't make fun of your friends how they look. Yeah, but never like in a real way of like, <laughs> you know, you need to lose some weight or like your your hair is going bald. It was just I like, wouldn't say it that way. I'd say you fat bald bitch. <laughs> <laughs> say it that way. <laughs> I think I think no, I, no, I did. more but like like I used to just shave my own head. I was just because yeah, 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 yeah. I liked it and it was easy. And none of my friends were ever like. You need to grow hair, you know. Like you have hair, why don't you? Why don't you oh, grow it? I remember it out? one of my friends telling me, "Hey, man, I think you're losing your hair." I remember that moment so distinctly, and I went, "Huh?" He's like, "You're going bald," and I was like, and he Brutal. touched the top of my head, and I was sitting on a chair, and he was over me. He was like, "Yeah, man, you're going bald." And then I said to my girlfriend at the time, "I said, like, can I ask you a question? Am I losing my hair?" And she goes, "Yeah," and I went, well, "What? Do you, what do you mean? Yeah?" And I, that was my first foot in the grave. Mm-hmm. Like that's the first bit of aging where you're like. Oh. that's that's the the struggle i'm working with right now where i i've said it before like i want to grow my hair long until the summer and then i want to shave it all yeah but i'm scared if i shave it it'll never come back oh I've, and I've, I've been there because once, well, once you shave it yeah. then it's hard to grow it back yeah that's like, what I would, like, t- I would love not, to have not shaved head. Of it, but yeah. like 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 a fucking a buzz i want a buzz yeah and I, still... I don't think i'm gonna do it i've said it a, a million times i don't think i'm gonna do it because i'm so scared i i, I keep i still have hair and i still have hair because i've never shaved it i believe mm-hmm. i still have hair and i can cheat it i can cheat it so it looks I, I got on yeah. uh, the first i posted a picture in 2013 let's say and that was the first time the internet was like Woo, say goodbye to it buddy and it was the first time i ever thought of it and i immediately got on propecia and started taking gummies and i think not only did it stop it i was like one of the few there's like a small percentage that it actually kind of grows back a little bit yeah. And I, if it wasn't for that, I probably would have just gone bald. Oh, I, if you were bald, I'd quit. <laughs> I would. We would have no way, dude. When you can't you do a show me? with a bald guy, no, bro. you would be. You would look it's even tough. better. It's tough. It's yeah. tough. It's, <laughs> it's tough. It's been hard. It's, it's been, been hard. hard. You look at him and you just see both of you aging. Yeah, the, like, oh, I think hair as a guy, it's height and hair is really the two things. Oh, you when, need when you or, see a guy with great fucking hair. It's and, incredible, and you're like, and then you just go. So you never worried about it, and, and they're the never, type that like, once. they're just like, you know, they shake it off and it looks perfect, and you're fine. And it's like, I don't know, if shit, it's, it's height so much anymore. Obviously, you know, it's the kind of the, the trend is chicks put that in their Tinder profile and yada yada. I think it's mass. I think if you're fucking five nine, but you're fucking, but you're big, but like, and and I don't even mean jack. I just mean wide. Yeah, like you're yeah. Just like a you just got a dude. body. If you're if you're a fat five nine jack guy, you're not fucking. But you don't you got a problem. You, you, <laughs> if you're a fat five yeah. nine <laughs> jack dude, and you're not fucking. You, you better be getting pussy. There, I, I would, I would, how many, there are so many fat five nine guys who are not getking laid. We're going. What the uh, fuck are you I'm, talking I'm about? I'm wondering no, what the exact all, number is. Listening to this right now, going. That's me. Dude, they're not listening. Dude, they're too busy fucking. All the time. <laughs> we had, we've had a Bella Danger on our show a bunch of times. The first time she came on and she said, I love guys who come fast. And our audience was like, yes, queen. Like everybody fucking celebrated. Like we can cut, we can come fast. A Bella yeah. And then she comes on again and she says, she loves short guys. And I was like, what this, is she trying to do? I, I <laughs> so, woke someone up. Boy. You're not even short, dude. Pete's like, I'm not that tall. And I do come fast. It was it was celebration for our, you know, 90% of our I like audience. like a guy who doesn't like brushing his teeth in the morning. <laughs> 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 kind of guy in a road stop bathroom wipes his ass with his hand. And it. Dude, dude, did she's you really see, by the way, fucking Zach uh, tweeted recently, can we work with, um, that his roommate... Puts his fucking toilet paper under. I've heard this before. Under I, the faucet. Not first. even that. No, no, no. I don't even know if that's the. I know people who dip in the in the toilet water in the clean. Get the water. fuck out of here. Yep. Which also, I'm always like, I, that doesn't make sense because everybody pees like first. Yeah. Like the water's gross by the time you've shit. Yeah. 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 And yeah, they dip and then wipe. I spit on the toilet paper. I, it's now called a Mississippi saying, wet well, wipe or every time? wet wipe. Yeah, uh, no. So I, I'll go. So I have a bidet. So none of you can throw stones. You just yeah, kiss. I, you have a bidet, I, but you spit bro, on your I'll fucking throw, No, no, no. no. So I have a bidet. So it's it's if I'm on the road, a wipe. I mean, my shit's been so bad. I have to almost go in and excavate it 
Like I have to get my finger a little bit up my asshole with toilet paper, yeah, like pulling it out, out of me, uh, okay. almost. And then, and then I have to, oh, and then I'll wipe a few times, and then I spit. I do, I spit, and I do a soft wipe. A at soft the end wipe. of the day, why don't you the just la- get at the very wet last wipes? Then I'll do a clean wipe. If you're so committed to spitting, you just need to get to get wipes. Wet no, wipes. I, I always have the, my wet wipes with me. I always. <laughs> and that's not. A, that's not a. Never leave home without it. I spit. I spit. I always have spit. <laughs> I uh, oh. I got to the next level when I, when we were doing uh, Hot Summer Nights tour and I was eating like a fucking wolf every night. We got. To, we were staying at KOAs. Like uh, we'd park the bus somewhere and we just stay there. And I was. Uh, just going straight sink to sink to wipe just barehanded and just going sink to wipe barehanding and just getting the cleanest asshole you've ever had Wait, in your life. And the Wait, dirtiest uh, fucking hand. No, you gotta, you gotta, to you gotta, be clear. Well, you, you gotta say wash barehanding. your hand. Barehanding. You mean barehanded. So, why, so what, what I do, what why I do is, is that better than what I do paper? is I'd wipe with toilet paper. Okay. So I, I feel like I it, I wipe like fucking 15 times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd wipe with toilet paper and get the get get the mass off. And then I'd go Sink to hand and just yeah, clean it, clean it, seat. clean it, like clean it, like the same way you're taking a shower. By the way, birds going like this, like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clean it, clean it, clean and it. then I come, and then I, know and, then I <laughs> and then I wipe to make sure we were clean. And like I get like clean as yeah. fucking ass. No I, I have no way, problem dude. with the extra. When you hear bones, someone, but the bare hand. When you hear someone talk about wiping their asshole. And maybe just me. I just go. I don't wipe my asshole right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, not what I've been doing. We were, we were in Fort, Fort Myers one time, Fort Lauderdale, and Mans was with me. And I had such bad uh, diarrhea. I'd eaten such spicy food <sighs> that I shoved an ice cube up my asshole. And then as I was, that must have melted like that. Well, I did not anticipate it dripping you out gave of my asshole, an asshole basically no. and i got on stage and it's just slowly running down my leg and i'm like mother you got shit water you down your leg like on stage what, with it? I, oh, what am i doing that? you remember oh. that man <laughs> so you remember when you shit on the in the bus on the paper plate what right before you went on stage and then you put it underneath the bus uh, i do remember that i do remember that under I, the yeah. bus I shit in a paper plate and then put it under a bus before a show. <laughs> As a prank? Or no, like I just had to shit, shit and we didn't have toilets around. <laughs> and it was COVID and there were fucking people in the regular toilets. So I just shit on a paper plate. And but then like, and it, rather but than like just throw it on why the side. On a plate? I have I have no problem with shitting. <laughs> like, Clearly. Yeah, I I, uh, I have had a few places. Are you putting lights on now, man? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice we had a light on. Yeah, I didn't I. notice. When that one came on, I was like, God damn. It's man. a little... It's a little late in the game to watch. <laughs> no, uh, but so you so you shit on a plate. I have shit publicly before into a place. I, I was one time I was in traffic and I got out of the car and I shit into a bag. Oh, and then I was like, I was like why am I holding a bag hot of shit? Why did I shit on the ground? No, 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 no. That's a great way on a tour bus. You put your bag in the toilet. You shit in the bag. And then wrap it so up. So you can still sit and then yeah. get rid of it. Yeah, and then wrap it up. I've it, hot bagged it a it, lot. It's amazing. I've hot bagged it a lot. The <laughs> amount of we talked about it on the podcast last week on uh, KFC Radio. The amount of shit talk that the internet does. Not oh, yeah. not talking shit. We're talking shit. Mm. It is like day one of Barstool blogging back in like 2009 and 10 for me. The the debate of wiping when, when you sit versus wiping when you stand was whoa, like and, whoa, and, whoa, and, whoa, and, whoa, whoa, whoa. What animal stands to wipe his ass? Thank, thank you. Yeah, boy! Yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, you just don't Bro. lean. These people, they lean. Bro. No, I don't lean. I stand up right. Wait, you're like you're... your cheeks closed. I'm like, no, I'm fucking no. I, I fucking spread them well, open. Well, you also have. But here, hold on, uh, real quick. Let me let me see how you wipe your ass. One cheek, right hand, open cheek. What? Disgusting <laughs> animal. Well, you two, you use both hands to wipe your ass. That's disgusting. Well, I, do, I hold my Wait, balls. You got, you I wipe shit. from the front. I, w- I hold my balls and I wipe. I from was the front. just gonna say we had this guy call in and said he, he wipes from the front under here. He said yeah. this guy. No this way. guy yeah. said he went. He goes in the front <laughs> and he goes f- back to front and didn't realize that he was just pushing all the shit onto his nuts. <laughs> I I, 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 I keep getting shit up my balls. How's that happening? You told us you're, you're wiping it up. I keep getting shit on my balls. I can't figure out how it's going. <laughs> <getting up. laughs> Well, you're 40. What are you yeah. talking about? Uh, but I, I it, guess it's so fascinating because I guess it's just literally everybody does it. Everybody poops. I didn't so the understand. amount that the internet, like, how do you do it? How do I do it? And it's one of those things you don't know until you talk about it because you've just been right. in the toilet doing your own thing your whole life. Yeah. And then someone's like, I spit on it. 
I put my finger on my ass. I didn't realize the splashback that happens. Mm. Like when you have diarrhea that it shits under the, the toilet. The, 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 the seat gets like under dirty. The seat. Yeah. And so I didn't know that I was doing that and I was doing it everywhere. <laughs> I, Every remember, I remember the first time I heard it, like meaning heard it and someone was like, who shit under the seat? And I was well, like, when you start living with somebody else, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And they're like, someone we were in Aspen, like someone shit under the seat. And I was like, I just took a shit, but I didn't shit under the seat. Yeah, how would that even how, happen? How would that even happen? Yes. Yeah. And then I remember the day that Leanne said, I wrote a joke about it. I took a shit so big I had to wipe my legs. <laughs> and Leanne's like, honey, you got to start wiping your ass cheeks. And I was like, what oh do you mean? And she God. goes, I think this is you. And she pulled back a sheet. <laughs> And there were spots of shit in my sheet. And I was like. In your bed. And in my bed. And I went, what is that? And she goes, honey, I think you shit. And it was on your ass cheek. And you just got in bed and put it in the bed. And I went, mother Bro, that is is two things. Disgusting. (laughs) Yeah. And true love. (laughs) Yeah. True love. She was like, she was like, I think that's you. And I was like, I was like, God damn it. And then I started going like, I take a shit. I lift up the seat. And I go, there is fucking shit under the seat. Bro. That's I'm, I, I'm honestly learning this kind of right now. Like I've <laughs> seen it, man. I've seen it before, mm-hmm. but I've always been like, "That's so weird." Like, how did my piss get up there? <laughs> I never thought it was dried shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's dried shit. It's dried shit, and it freckles. And by the way, I get it so bad that it like I'll blow out a toilet, meaning like it's just almost like a fucking pipe bomb went off. Yeah, of there. yeah, yeah. And it'll it's go like a blood everywhere. Spatter. Like when you flush, there's Forensics. shit coming out. I've shit up into the place where the water comes out so that when you flush, it looks like shit's coming out of there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah because if you shit strong enough and and it's like diarrhea, yeah. it goes back. Yeah. It like hits the backboard almost. Yeah. It's, hey, top shelf it's a it. whole explosion. Yeah. I might need I might need How a about this? toilet. When but, you piss, yeah. If there's do you care about people hearing you at all? No. If you so if you go to like a toilet, will you piss just right into the middle of the water? Or you hit like the backboard, if you will. I don't like even think ring. about it. Oh, you don't? No. Bro, when I, I'm in the public I, bathroom, I piss hard. I try to pee. I piss hard. I, I've heard his stream before. It's like, whoa. I was like, that thing a hose? But I also... What, what Sounds like a civil rights fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are barking. Whoa, you thought segregation was over? <laughs> I always, I'll try to hit the, the back or the side. Mm-hmm. I'm almost like... You know those carnival games where you're shooting the water gun? I'm doing yeah. that kind of shit. I when I had a theory that I and I've always had this thought. A great marketing p- tool would be urinal mint, urinal men. So they clamp over the urinal mint, and it's a it's a bust, a plastic bust of a celebrity with their mouth open, and then you piss in their mouth, and then it would be it would be like uh, sorry, it would be like something that would, would be help marketing. So we did Edinburgh Fringe Festival, me, Rich Voss, and Patrice O'Neill, and we had a poster. And I decided to put our posters at the bottom <laughs> of all the urinals. Smart. I thought I thought that way everyone would see You're us. Gonna? Like in the belly, like, like, like where you the, piss. At the, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, bottom okay. of all the urinals. So I put I put uh them all over the urinals and then I I tape some of the big long ones, I taped them to the back of the urinal so sure. people are looking at. It. I didn't tell anyone. And then we're in the bar, we're drinking, and uh after about the tenth Irish guy to, or Scottish guy to come up to Patrice, Patrice goes, "Motherfucker, what? What did you? Where did you put those flyers?" And I go in the toilet. And he goes, "I got every fucking red white guy coming up to me, going, I'm pissing in your mouth, black man." <laughs> and I was like, he was like and, I, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that was me." And he was like, "Get our fucking!" I go, "I'm not getting them out now." And he goes, "Well, we can't leave them in there. They're coming, they're pissing in my mouth." <laughs> Dude, a fucking red white guy is such a great way of this. That's what I got. Really, Every red, red, red white guy. Like versus a they turn, red white they turn guy. pink, man. It's like when Miss Pat called you pink. She goes, "You're not uh, white, you pink." Dude, Miss Pat asked me my ethnicity. <laughs> she was like, he, he was so pink that day. She didn't know if he was white or not. <laughs> said, what are you? Which I think she I thought. Like, I think she thought he was like an alien. <laughs> she goes, "Nah, you pink." <laughs> I saw her light some dude up on stage the other night. Bro, she's some, scary. She could fucking she, kill him. She uh, she told my daughters uh, what was she gonna? She goes take him to N word camp. They go live at her house for a month, <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll come back different. And I bet my my daughters love Miss Pat. She's yeah, they she's love Miss Pat. Yeah, she is the best. She uh uh, we should probably cap off how the night ended. 
much. Or, I mean, I don't know how much we share about it or if we leave it up for people's. I'm. I mean, we, we ended at a place called the Banana Bar. Yeah. Which was, uh, which is a place I've been now. I've been now. I worked there for Showtime. That's right. Yeah, That's I worked right. there. He um, was he was telling the story to one of the, the, the workers there last night, and I don't think she believed him. And I was like, no, no, this is a real story. Yeah, I worked there for... Yeah, Wait, there. you worked at this banana bar? Yeah, that banana bar. Mm-hmm. I spent like two full days shooting there. And oh. It, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was very familiar with the banana thing. I've had... I've been... This is my fourth time in the banana bar, fifth time. <laughs> you're, you're like a frequent flyer. So you, uh, should have, you should have one of those punch cards. Where he you recognized banana me when after. I first came in. <laughs> yeah. The last time he came in. Like, you recognized me yesterday. He goes, you're back. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, he did. But it was... It's a great, fully interactive experience. I think probably one of the best. So what's funny is Mans and I scouted one that we thought would be good for you guys, but it was so creepy. No one spoke, and we mm. just watched a dude fuck a girl on stage, and we were like, "That I, cool. I thought we were going to do a live sex show, but yeah. I, so that was not a. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't very interactive, and it was very mixed. It was like half girls, half boys. And so it was really kind of like bizarrely. But it's also is it intimate. like supposed to be sexy as it's, opposed to like fun? Like it was. It's supposed to be sexy. I don't know what it yeah, is. Like, I don't like no know. one in the crowd is like hooting and hollering, right? It's like no one's watching. talking. Except See, for that, man's, I think would be man's, man's like man's, man's like, like put it in this, put it in this way, put it in that way. Go like, counterclockwise. Yeah. yeah. And so man's wanted the hoop and hollering. And so mm-hmm. by the time I, I've never seen someone had more joy in his eyes. Than last night with you two guys, <laughs> he was the hype man of all hype man. You know, he was man's was <laughs> he was unbelievable. The best of business. He, he really is. That was uh, that was something, dude. You took a beating, bro. I, yeah. I, well, I, I, one I, I, more. I said well, to him, I, I, "Come on." I, I, he he's taken a lot of bullets for me over the years with just like dumb content things, and it's like he, he'll do it. He'll do it. Yeah. You know. And I was like, I've never been happier that that one went to you, man. Because I, I think I would have been in tears, dude. I'll, I'll, the, I'll say the, this. the slaps, like she boxed his ears, bro. This morning, so Nick, I, I, it's like two p.m. Obviously, it was when we started this, and Nick came to wake me up because I was still asleep. I was still zonked, and and Nick comes to wake me up, and I was I put my pants on, I got all dressed, and I was like, did I bring a bell? Where's I don't even have a belt mm. here. Oh. And, and Nick goes, Did she keep? It? Nick goes, you got beat with it last night. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, that's, that's right. That's right. And I did end up finding it. But the I took my belt off and gave her my belt for you. Because that, that was your belt. Yeah, then? she didn't. Yeah, she didn't. She was like, cool. She had beaten me with that belt the night before. So she was like, I need the other belt. Where's the other? Give me your belt. And so I took wow. my belt off and gave it to her. No. Okay. Yeah. So I fucking. I mean, I did. I, what a I, I ended up finding a belt for everyone listening. Don't worry about it. She, but the, she went. I'm actually really happy. Overhead, this, like, whack. Can I yeah. be honest with you guys? Yeah. I liked it. It was pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> like. I wasn't fucking. You didn't have to twist my arm to do number three. I was like, All right, <laughs> well, I like that again. She, she goes, "How many should I give?" And and you, it's uh, not. It, I, I thought it was gonna be like sort of shit. Like, I'm, you you yeah. you mooned us later than that. You had a like a bright red. A bright red. Is it, is, let's check let's right now. Let's check. Let's take a look. Oh no! Show him the back. I want to see the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. It's oh there, yeah. Oh, but yeah. it's not like it's still know. there. Yeah. 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 No Tur- yeah. Turn around. <laughs> yeah. yeah nice. Wait, is mine still there? <laughs> no, you're no. Uh, like, you, know, you got lines. I just can't tell where they're from. No. <laughs> Those are stretch marks. <laughs> the I don't know if we should share who our uh, cameo wa- was. Last I know. Night. I was thinking that because it's so perfect. But I don't know if you're. It's you know, so perfect. You're allowed to. It's so perfect. I'll tell you what. Let me just text him real quick and say, "Do you mind?" Because if you <laughs> he's do, on a plane. He's on a plane. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's I right. Think you're right. He. We met up with at a bar. Yeah. With somebody. Well. Well, he he was in and out at this place. Yeah, this, we, we just met up with him at the bar at one point. Bro, he had the yeah. Willie Mays catch, though. Dude, I know. That, yeah, yeah, if you want to talk about it, you got to talk about it. <laughs> Dude, he, he got I think, in there. I think he this got is... in there like this. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. My boy played right field for sure. <laughs> yeah. I can tell by his <laughs> But he, he, he nailed the catch. Whoa, and then whoa, in the... whoa. The woman in the room next is showering. Oh, Really? 
The woman, <laughs> woman, I just saw her drying off with her towel. That was like the girl across the street from the red light district. Remember that? <gasps> there was all the girls in the peep shows, anything. and then there was a yeah. chick just in like her kitchen or something moving around. I was like, I want to watch this more. Good God. But that our cameo caught a flying dildo, and then one of the most inexplicable moves I've ever seen goes, yeah. And then drops it and then drops. I forgot, I forgot about the drop. The shirt drop. Threw it down his shirt <laughs> and then immediately goes, I don't know why I did that. It was oh. covered in lube and whatever else. It was crazy. It's not it's not the it's the maid. She's walking, oh. she's moving towels. <laughs> the uh it, and then and then he, our cameo, our celebrity cameo, was in love with John Mans. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And, oh, yeah. And he kept going, this guy's throwing a perfect game. He's got 14 strikeouts. He's Honestly, per- your voice right there was too close to his actual voice. Yeah. <laughs> like, you might have just outed him. You might and, have been- Maddie, I thought Maddie was going to try to have sex with him. Maddie was like, ah. <laughs> it was It was great. It was like the whole crew together. It was like an the episode best, of Entourage. The- <laughs> well, it was like, <laughs> Because <laughs> he just appeared like a fucking he just, operation. He just was like, he texted <laughs> ran me the, in the night before. He's like, You're in Amsterdam? I'm in Amsterdam. And you were like, Yo, what's the name? Hit me up. I was like, Hey, hit me up. He goes, Should we tell him to meet up with us? And we're like, Yeah. And we're leaving the banana bar. And he just rolls in like, What's You're up? Right. And I was like, Yeah. So Two more hours roll. it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was a champ because he, he was flying out this morning. And I think. He initially tried to leave after like legit one beer. He was yeah. like, I just wanted to say hi. Yeah, he did try to leave. And then and I not said, only did he stay for that, he stayed for yeah. like the next five I go, you're hours. Not done. I go, yeah, one more beer, one more beer. Mm-hmm. Just catch the flying dildo. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I'll catch a flying dildo. <laughs> 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 and then we ended up at a bar that was just us. I think we closed it down. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, closed. Oh, yeah, closed, closed, yeah, closed. Yeah, closing closed. time came up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was oh, my yeah. saving grace because I, at that point, man, I was full to the fucking brim, and I, and somebody had just bought me a new full. Pint. That was me. That was and me. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm you just... tried to you tried to do the Irish goodbye. You're like, all right, I'm out. I'm like, no, no you're, you're not. not. You're like, you're, like, you're finishing that beer, and then all of a sudden the lights came on. It was closing time, and I was like, thank God. <laughs> God, what a fucking. Those you know moments. what was a great moment last night? The music was wild. Like, just a very eclectic mix. But back to back, they played Bob Marley for a minute. Yeah. They played One Love and uh, what, are, what are the other ones? And it was just a very, like, everything chilled out for a moment late. Because it was almost the end of the night. And it was like, oh, I could do this to, like, five. If, if it stayed yeah. this way. It went from, like, mm-tsa, mm-tsa, techno to that. And I was like, we could be here forever if it oh, keeps it like this. I, my two favorite moments were uh, when when both of you were, cha- like, you, you were on the table, and she was slapping you. I was holding you, <laughs> yep. and mm-hmm. I was going, yeah! Yes. Yeah. And then when you got on the table, I was doing the same thing. Like, oh, it's just getting better. That the, that like what six minute span, not even. Yeah. Was what this trip was about. Yeah. You that know? six. It minutes. was it's, it's that, a fifty five hours trip went, boiled down to that. It went in that moment. In that moment, like if you're looking at like like peak moments of your day, that moment all built to that, and then our celebrity cameo walked in in that moment. Yeah, in yeah, that yeah. moment, and we're like, shut the. <laughs> it, it really was scripted. It was it was unbelievable, dude. It was crazy. It, that was what it was about. And I don't know what Morocco would have been like. I know nothing about Morocco. Yeah. I'm sure it would have been awesome. It was. I don't this. know if it was going to be that. You know? is, I don't know. It, 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 it probably would have been a, a more. I don't know. Do you like ride fucking animals in a safari or something? <laughs> I don't know what you do in, in in Morocco and Africa. Or is it just a tropical trip where you're hanging out? I don't know. But there's not the craziness of like oh, well, we my have. God. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever do this again. I would like to, but I just, it's, it was, I think there's, it's really tough. The hardest part is I don't feel like I have to talk around you guys. Yeah. You got to pick the right people. I, I, and so I, and so. You're not really hosting us. You know what I mean? But we also, we have a lot of same interests. So if we want to talk about just even, even podcasting or, 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 or fucking anything, there's a a lot of like, there's a lot of things where we can just definitely, you know, we're, some people i don't know if i i don't know how i do like there's or or and you and you don't want it you don't want it to be you don't want it to look corporate you want it just to be fun for real yeah yeah, for fun. yeah you, this like, is one of those things you try to do it again and yeah. i think you should like i said just make it an annual thing with us <laughs> but like I'm, I'm sure you can 
but you mm. do just have to pick the right people in the right place. Otherwise, it does kind of become like, oh, it was like when you tried to do the new Am- uh, the Amsterdam yeah. thing, and it didn't quite. That I was saying, I, I you know, the barstool sale is is being completed in the next few weeks, and um, and I'll finally have a little bit of my own money to throw around. And I was trying to think of if we if we could do something like this for someone else, who would you take? If we could pay it forward. And I'm trying to think of who we would. We have two great people already on our team yeah. who I think I would want to do it with first because they deserve it. But if you were going to take, if you were going to take two take comics, outsiders, two comics. Two, co- two oh, comics, comics. Um, and and have it be like, like sort of the way you're doing it for us with like just two people like our favorite comics or two people that we're trying to like you know we're a little younger and you're yeah. you know taking us under your wing sort of thing like that uh yeah yeah kind of i mean i don't know like like i've done i've done this a lot with like mark norman Nor- i've done mm-hmm. a lot of things with mark mm-hmm. norman and, and shane gillis and those guys are so fun yeah. to be like so, like so. Just those, Shane would those be those my moments. first answer. I was going to say Shane, Shane, yeah. Shane Gillis. Yeah. There's a moment. There's a moment that <laughs> I've, I'm I've, t- Shane. Uh, Shane, if you want to take me on a trip, I'll go. Like, that would <laughs> yeah, be my yeah. favorite one. Like, yeah, if I said Shane, I'm taking you somewhere. He'd be like, "Shut the fuck up." No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. But if, it, if if forget about money and all that shit. If you're just talking about putting together like a dream team sort of thing of like yeah. who you want to take two people. You want, I mean, yeah, Shane's got to be way at the top of the list. Um, Shane and Mark are a good. I've I've done a lot with them. There was a moment we had on a on a uh on a in a uh, limo coming back from the Wilco concert where we were singing songs we don't know the words to but we know what they sound like. You know, oh, saying, like and yeah. we the melody going, you're we humming along. Going, <laughs> and we're just screaming in each other's faces and we were laughing so hard we were laughing so hard that i thought if i have a stroke from this laughter this that's a, that's, that's how i want to go, go, out. go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i was laughing. It's also called pearl jam what you were doing yeah it was yeah, yeah. <laughs> we laughed so fucking there's so many times when you get those moments when you do trips like that where it's almost like all you want is that one experience that you'll never forget. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've one... got about six, seven or eight of them from this trip. But even <laughs> yeah. if you just get one. Well, we had a whole other day. I, well, yeah. yeah, but I don't think there's not, not going to be anything like tonight, yesterday. Tonight, was perfect, tonight, you know? tonight, tonight will be a sleeper. Yeah. We'll, all of a sudden it'll get, because we don't, we, don't, we don't have to it'll leave. It'll creep up we, on Yeah, we yeah. stay here yeah. tonight. Yeah. And so we have bus call tomorrow. We'll all sleep on the bus tomorrow driving to Antwerp. Right. We'll yeah. catch up with but, you. But, no, uh, you're saying a sleeper as in. In a good way. A sleeper I, as in. I'm, I'm saying, a sleeper, no, a sleeper as in. It'll show up. It'll, it'll show creep, up. Yeah. 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 It'll show I'm just saying it won't be. I don't think you can capture that magic of that first night. Maybe again. No, no. No, fuck it. No, you fuck just, you both. No, it's we're, happening. We're, yeah, yeah. Dude, we'll, we'll go. Do it we'll, again. Maybe we'll go to and watch two people really fuck. Yeah, and just and get really analytical about it. Yeah, and, and we record. I would love a live no, podcast. No, can that. we? Can we please do that? Yeah, I want to watch. Uh, fuck I would I wanna, love like, a breakdown. We, like, I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit on the stage. I want to sit on the back. And, and I want. And I want to like all Gallagher. we have is our phones, and we're like, "All right, he's going into the yeah, yeah like, that's not the way like Jim Nance type shit." Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude, well, I we're think here. That, on... yeah. let's let's do that. Too. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we, we have the up. whole night. It's like wine as well. We have a ton of drugs still. Yeah. I mean, there's no, I mean, no one touched the Mexican <laughs> mushrooms. Mark no, I touched them. I fucking puked them up. <laughs> we got Mansy with us. Mansy's a fucking Mansy's Mansy's a human our... like drug himself. <laughs> Mansy's a hype man. Yeah. You can plug Dude, him in Mansy, and wind him bro, up, let him go. Mansy was asleep at lunch, bro. Yeah. And he made the whole night. Yeah. That's no. a gangster. Mansy, can, wait, Mansy I, and Mark I, with the all time long longevity. Can I tell you the best was uh, our celebrity? cameo pulls me aside and he goes what the fuck's this guy's story and i go <laughs> i go he's like my cameraman and he goes he's a cameraman I said, he's a really talented one and he goes hey and then i realized i'm gonna lose manzi <laughs> he's, he's gonna grab he's gonna scrap him up they both wear the same size clothes <laughs> manzi you're way bigger babe <laughs> we have now eliminated everyone from the show like we know what it is it's a, oh. it was so fun it was like being at an islanders game Dude, man. Yeah. <laughs> i almost it was crazy when we went when we all took that group picture I wondered how many. I wondered if anyone was going to point out, "Hey, is that fucking dot 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 in there?" <laughs> and I was like, and I wanted to. Tell oh, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I'd have to imagine. I mean, it, it, it's actually very cute. We're all pretending everyone is doesn't know. So, yeah, yeah. Is. there was a time I, I think that you know he wouldn't have been able to walk down the fucking street anywhere. 
But yeah, yeah he kind of like just blended in. That's why no. it's the perfect. That's why. Yeah, no, Kevin Conley, your beard is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Man. to see. I'm it, trying to see. Hopping on that flight to LA is not, bro, not fun. Bro, going, I always think that's that, like 14 so hours. I did a I did a recent trip, kind of comparable to this, where my 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 buddy lives in San Francisco, and we both we came over to England for like 48 hours, kind of deal. And I was like, wait, it was hard enough to do it from New York, doing it from fucking the West Coast, and which I mean, you've been here for a while, yeah. so it's not really the same. I've been in Europe for almost a month now. Oh no shit! Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I started. I actually was in, like in the most illogical tour of all time: London, Greece, back to Ireland, now over here, Scandinavia. Down to here, Scandinavia. Mm. It's like it's like you're purposely trying to do it far away from each other. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, we we have two days left. We have two days off in London before I go back to. Williamsport. So when do you stop? Never. Yeah, I actually, I actually, have... I feel like you guys now like your tour. Just blends. You just like n- name it differently, like at a certain point. Well, I think like, these dates stop, and you just start a new date, and it's like the relapse store and set whatever. You know? Yeah, you it, guys don't ever. Well, end. that's why at customs, I didn't know. I guess we haven't told that story. You're like, what, what, what? What's the name of the tour? The guy at customs, Maddie Smith, okay. who's a comedian with us. She was crushing. We brought Maddie over, by the way, just for because like Maddie is my Maddie is like Prozac for me. She's Dude, she, she makes me giggle, love her so hard, and she is. She is just so fucking funny. Dude, we 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 had a moment on the plane over here where they said, um, never had this happen. I, I wish I was awake for it because I I just would like to have seen how I reacted. But the pilot came over and said, uh, is anybody on the plane a doctor? We have a medical emergency. And um, we never found out what it was. Nothing really came of that. So that wasn't the story. When we get off the plane, everyone's just kind of like joking around about it. And we were like, Maddie, was that you? And she just goes, yeah, I got my period. And it just brought the house down. We were all howling, laughing. Oh. And I was like, ah, she's perfect. She's a gem. She's doing a spot tonight. She, uh, she makes me giggle. She was the one I don't, I, when we did, we did edible roulette on the bus. She had, she put all the gummies into one bowl, all our gummies, the non marijuana and the marijuana ones. And she's like, they're 10 milligrams. Everyone just grab one and you got to eat what you grab. And so Pete was the first one that grabbed one. And he <laughs> goes, that was marijuana. <laughs> and I said, really? Right he goes, it's a distinct taste. It's yeah, a you distinct can tell. taste. You can tell. So I grabbed mine and I put it in my mouth. The second time I put it in my mouth, I go, I got marijuana. And I go, motherfucker. And so Maddie eats hers. She goes, I got marijuana. <laughs> Everyone got marijuana. Tell and me. Moses, me, Maddie, and Pete all got marijuana. And... Lacey didn't. Everyone, no one else did. Oh, I thought it was the joke was going to be no. like, I they were all marijuana. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, and then I looked at the package, and I go, and my heart dropped, and I go, Maddie, am I reading this wrong? And she goes, Uh oh, guys, these aren't ten milligrams; they're a hundred milligrams. No and way. we're like, What the fuck? And Moses was eating a second one, and he goes, <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> he goes, Pete goes, I'm getting in my bed. Good night, guys. And just, and just, yeah, just he just rocks. got in his bed, yeah. got in his bed. He was like, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna go to sleep first, and yeah. then I'll just fucking run it out. That um, will fucking I, wreck you. I jumped back in for a second. No Dude, ten way. milligrams. Yeah. Ten milligrams Maddie is usually enough. Maddie for me. Ate twelve, a twelve ton and a half of them. And so, and then we were fucking out of our minds. Out of our minds. It wasn't even. And by the way, I got to be honest with you. It wasn't. The only time it was bad was um, I woke up in the middle of the night and I. I was I was scared because I was like I was like I'm the only one awake and I wanted to wake someone up like Chris Pine in that movie where he wakes up Jennifer Lawrence. And I then, know, I, yeah, yeah, I know. And I yeah. wanted to wake someone up to to be up with me because I was mm-hmm. I was scared and I was like mm-hmm. I think you just got to get back in your capsule. You just and, gotta and, ride it and, and just go like <laughs> just I know, know I'll get somewhere. Eighty four more years, yeah. baby. Eighty four <laughs> more years. <laughs> Eighty four more years. <laughs> uh, so, so Maddie's here. So Maddie will do a spot tonight. We'll have a fucking blast tonight. I can't wait. I gotta. I think I should live probably... sex. Live sex. Live sex. I'm I, totally honestly down for that. just because I want to watch someone who's live. Sex. I guess he's a pro too. I want to see someone fuck. Who is in a professional in on camera? Well, just I, think I have no idea still, how yeah. I fuck. I think they're still like professionals. Well, no, of course he is. No, no, he. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't really fulfill my fantasy. I just want to. I want to watch. We're talking about Manzi, by the way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Manzi, how much for us? How much? Give me a price point for us to all go into a red light booth with you and us watch and you, you fuck, fuck a chick. How much, Manzi? Give me a price point. 
No, you know, it's not. Man, don't be, be Everybody's real. got a number. It's not a number. Well, I'll throw a hundred dollars a man. <laughs> yeah, there's like I, I mean, I'll do it. I'll okay, do it stop. Me. I'll do it. I'll watch, it. I'll watch you too. <laughs> Just tell her keep the curtain open. <laughs> <laughs> Manzi, no. Ten grand. If it's more than ten grand, you better have Come a on. fucking good thick game. <laughs> that can happen. This is Manzi, this is Manzi's like sober I'll, regular Manzi talking. Give it give it a give it a little bit. Manzi will have his first drink in probably an hour. You know what's great, and, and that's when we that's when we get the <laughs> ring. Yeah, 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 G Willikers guys talking uh, with our our celebrity cameo Connolly. Um, <laughs> you were explaining to him how Manzi does uh, vodka and Ambien. Oh, which honestly should be like the name of like an album or something like. Like a put on a t shirt, vodka yeah. ambient. And Connolly was like, or Slavio Cami was like, What? Like, how long have you been doing that? And, man, and he goes, is 20 years. <laughs> man goes, I gotta get a little nibble. A little yeah, a little nibble at night. <laughs> he, he, he got Mark Norman addicted to Ambien in, in like a, a week, week, right? In a really? Week. In a week, man's is like, Mark's like, ah oh, man, I'm not sleeping. And man's is like, I gotta care for you. Take a little nibble, Mark. <laughs> and we were on a train. This is where he got him addicted on a train. <laughs> And Mark had Mark and Mans had a, a vodka soda each. They had a double vodka soda, and they bit into an Ambien, and they were passed the fuck I'm out on the train. I'm and then they woke sure. up, and and Mark's eyes it was like he had found Christ. He went, <laughs> "Man, do you have more of those?" And Mans is like, "I'm running out. I'm running out, Mark. But we can get them. We can get them." And so then. Throughout the entire trip, Mark ate Ambien with Mans, and they would sleep like dreams. And wait. they were like a, yeah. a couple. That, that's I mean, don't people do that? You take it and try to like fight it that last bit before you go to sleep. Oh, Mans, that's Mans, that Tiger Wood shit. Yeah, Mans, Mans, even he'll he'll be asleep and he'll wake up to take an Ambien to go to sleep. Like he'll pass <laughs> out like at a bar and be like, I gotta take an Ambien and go to sleep. <laughs> I I do that. No, like, I, I'll do like yeah. Home, like, if I fall asleep on the couch. And I'll be like, all right, I gotta smoke to fall asleep. Yeah. Like, like just moving from the couch to bed. Like, that I wakes you back like, up. I'm yeah. gonna smoke. I smoked more weed yesterday than I've ever smoked. Uh there was a lot of weed. Like, Georgia. I guess my joints. daughter my daughters were watching my stories. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wondered that. What's that like for you? Because they're know. you know, of age. My wife, where my wife like... told him I did cocaine before, so like <laughs> after that, the I'm like, whatever. Right? Move she's ever done. <laughs> In front of a bunch of kids where they're talking about drugs and we're all playing it smooth. And then, she, I mean, I talked about it in my special, but she just rats me out. I go, what the fuck are you doing? And she goes, you got to be honest. And I was like, no, we don't. No, don't fuck not that. that. Like, parenthood is 100% about lying to your kids. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia texted, I took the coolest picture of Pete and Tasha last night and I, and I posted it. I just posted it on Instagram and Georgia goes, is this happening? And I was like, oh. <laughs> it's a great fucking picture. Look at this. Look at that picture. Oh, oh, wow. oh no! It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's Matt Pete and, and Maddie. Maddie. Yeah, Maddie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that that is. That's a great fucking picture. It's a great yeah. picture. There's been a lot of awesome pictures because yeah. the backdrop here is fucking incredible. That it's like the, castle that we took a picture in front of, oh, whatever yeah. that was, fucking amazing. I texted. Now, it's it. been it's been fucking unbelievable. I, I'll all you want, all you need is a couple good memories, and I think we got them. Yeah. And I think I, we'll get I, some tonight. I don't know. No, no, we don't have them yet. Yeah, we, we, have, have we haven't even made the we good do, ones yet. We do, we do, but don't get that mindset. No, no yeah. we no, we need new ones tonight. I I don't know if there will ever even be a way to repay you, but we'll find a way. No, you don't we'll, have to we'll repay me. It, it was this was it was awesome. This man. is everything you want, especially awesome. in this tour. I think also, and I'll be I'll speak for Pete and uh, I'll speak for Pete and Mans. Pete's been waiting for you guys to come. He's been so excited. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he's been he's been like well, he, yeah, the I I initially was like. He sounded pretty serious on that podcast. I think he's going to take us. And then just knowing how busy you guys are and how much travel, I was like, I don't know if this is really going to happen. Yeah. And then after it was a few months, I'm like thinking like, he, you know, people say things on, on podcasts all the time. It's not going to happen. But those guys are always like, no, we're going to do it. Like, it's happening. It's happening. I'm so nervous about giving the secret out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that bitch Maddie knew for a couple weeks. Yeah, oh yeah, Maddie's known for a while. Toronto. Yeah. I, I can understand yeah. these guys. I, yeah, we were lips, in Toronto, but... and I told we pulled the trigger. We're like, yeah, let's get the tickets. And so yeah. we bought the tickets, and uh, and Maddie was like, wait, I want to go. And I was like, and I, I mean, I adore that kid. And so yeah. I was like, you can come. 
Yeah. And then Leanne's like, wait. I was going to say, Leanne's been getting the bills for all this yeah. shit. <laughs> Leanne's, like, Leanne's like, why are you bringing a girl? And I said, it's Maddie. And don't she worry. Goes, oh, okay, yeah. And she was yeah, like, girls can be fellas too. Yeah, but no, but Leanne was like, and I go, Lacey's here. Tasha will be here. Yeah. Like, thank, I, thank God I have a cool fucking wife because I'm running around Amsterdam Dude. with fucking the coolest chicks. I, I, I would not be that cool if it was my wife. Yeah, I yeah. said it like it was not only that, but we were at the bar, at the hotel bar before we went back out. And you FaceTimed Leanne and you were talking business, actually. And I was like, this woman's such a gangster. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's cool about it all. And actually, in the middle of it is like, I don't, yeah, I don't care what you're doing with fucking strippers in, in, in Amsterdam. We got to talk about the trailer, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, let's get back to business. She's running the tickets and doing, like, I mean, she is an absolute gem. There's she really like is. one woman on the planet Earth that you could be with and do this. And you found, <laughs> I, just, I don't yeah, know if I believe soulmates, soulmates and soulmates. shit, yeah. but I like, just realized, this I just is realized the one. I should have taken her. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, you think we, we have to go? Nah, I want to go with you. Get the fuck out of here. I want to go with my friends. Shit, shit. Do what now? Hell no. She, I told her to fly over to London. I was like, fly over to London. We'll have a couple nice nights in London. And she goes, no. <laughs> so she goes, it's a waste of money. Just tell, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. And so, I think this was a blast. I'd be curious to see if we ever do this again. Because it's gonna be hard to, it'll be hard to beat this. It'll be hard to because everything was organic. Organic. That's what everything I mean. was it, organic. It's not that you can't find a better group of guys. I'd say you can't. Uh, but like, you can do that. You could go to different cities. But it was like, and you know what is so wild? I love thinking about these kind of things. Like, I believe this all started. We were talking about Chappelle and how Chappelle just picked up and fucked off uh, yeah. and went to Africa. And if we, and then you talked about like, what if we just traveled to Paris? And if that podcast just conversation didn't take that route, yeah, none of this happens. It's, yeah, and also it's crazy. While we're saying all this, you got twelve months. <laughs> yeah, you're we're, on the clock. We're calling you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Yeah, <laughs> I got my one day off. Yeah, <laughs> and it I'm is, like, wow, I'm going to fucking what, Antwerp. <laughs> what what it's gonna be is I I am gonna months. put it out there right now. We'll bring you somewhere, but you won't be able to come. So we'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what you should do. Just surprise me somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise me yes. somewhere. Yes. yes. Right. Surprise me somewhere. Show up in the Mediterranean. That's the fucking move. Yes. yes. Just surprise me. Pete's going to keep us. In Just surprise yes. We're going to surprise you. you. What, what, let us I, know your off on. day. Okay, so, so <laughs> hang on. So this is the way my brain operates, right? So I love surprises. I love surprises. But I can... So... For my birthday, every year, I think someone's throwing me a surprise party. <laughs> I, everything. And so my, every birthday I have is the best because I'm always waiting for the surprise. And it's never and, happened? And it's never. I've never had a surprise party. I've never had a surprise party. But so I, but I, I mean, I think things, I remember one year I was like, I was like, oh, they're flying Weecho out, my buddy. I go, they're flying all my high school friends out. I mean, I overdream it. And so never... I know I know, I have crazy touring coming up in April. Crazy touring coming up in May. Crazy touring. Like fucking like Singapore, Hong Kong. No shit. Sh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, eight, uh, we're doing... Um, yeah, we haven't announced it yet. <laughs> we haven't announced it yet, but we're doing Australia. We're doing... And, we, and, and by the way, uh, I think we're stopping in Bali for a few days like oh, uh, there's i would, uh, my my only okay. thing i'm gonna like more <laughs> trying to think of where is we when we them. show up at airports and i'm just looking for you guys yeah <laughs> are they here no put nick calendar 12 months we surprise bert at some point uh, it's, you, I, it, it. I, I just want to like pop my head up like we're here we're yeah. here bitch <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna hear, fella. <laughs> you know I did that. You know I did that at uh, at the polar plunge at. Uh, did you, man? Yeah. Do you have your computer with you? Because I mean, yeah, who's got the smallest dick in the room? We went, we polar went, plunges. we went to a polar plunge in London, and Man's was at the end of the dock, and there's and the place where you dressed was like behind a wall, but uh, but there was a clear shot from the dock all the way into the dressing room, like. A clear shot, maybe, maybe no joke, 180 feet from the dressing room, inside the dressing room, to out to the end of the dock. And Mans is filming on the end of the dock. And I come out my towel and I go, Mans. I go, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Mans is giggling. I, just, I, I have a small stick through my shoulder, my dick. And you can just hear Mans going, ee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard a hundred times, yet we still continue to have bad habits. For me, it's food. I, I don't, I'm powerless. I'm powerless. I legit am powerless. I get on a plane and I go, I'm not going to eat. I don't need to eat. And then all of a sudden they, she go, they go, can I get you a cookie? And I watch my face go, yes. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plant and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. Instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like a vape, Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for a delicious natural flower. Fume's new version 2 model is snappy and tactile. With an adjustable airflow dial and a magnetic end cap, your fingers will always have something to do. I didn't expect much. I really didn't. But when I got it, dude, the minty sensation is really powerful. And it, and it kind of hits the back of the throat hard. I loved it. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one. And Fume is designed to perfectly do just that. The Fume goal is making switching easy and even enjoyable. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just like you who have successfully switched when other solutions just didn't work. Head to tryfume.com and use code BERT to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version 2 Fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfume.com dot com and use code BERT to save an additional 10% off your order today. The no, we were doing it in been. the fucking we were I was doing it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Dude, I um I when I went to get pancakes, I, I went by the Anne Frank house. Oh yeah. Not expected to look like that. I don't uh, know what it looks like. I mean it's like it's just like a they, first of all I turned it into like a museum. It's just like <laughs> I'm trying to think of a joke. I'm trying to think of a joke, <laughs> bro. That's it. I mean, that's it. I, I don't know what I thought. Yeah, I, no, I, thought I, it would be I, like I initially uh, thought. Uh, of, so my uh, uh, before you say anything, my thought is it's too nice. I was gonna say. Uh, well, they've re, they've redone it. Yeah, like clean, 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 this yeah. looks like on West Tennessee Street in Tallahassee. Yeah, check your privilege. <laughs> check, check your privilege. <laughs> check your privilege, Dan Frank. Dude, I lived there in college, dude. Like, bro, that, 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 would, that, that would go for like you know four grand in New York City. Come on, like, it's not so bad. Um. The insides, what what really makes yeah, it? I yeah, suppose. What it makes I, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get into the fucking, you got to check attic. the attic out. Yeah. The, attic's, yeah. the attic's the fucking cellar. <laughs> we stopped. We on the way. We stopped by this guy. Uh, this guy has a comic book store. It's unassuming, he's got two million comics in there, and he says what? he sells shit for like a hundred grand a pop, Ooh. like first editions and shit. It's wild. It's kind of cool. You want to go buy a first edition? Uh, Batgirl or Supergirl or some shit. He's got it. I don't know anything about <laughs> comics. Yeah. I know that. Uh, do you collect? Do you, do you like memorabilia or anything? No, I hate that. I don't like. Do you have anything? Do you have like a hobby? Do you have like? Something? I go through stints. Like I collected hatchets for or tomahawks, hatchets? tomahawks, knives, tomahawks. You got knives. like, like the ghost right? hats. Like my, hats. My, my business manager was like, Leanne got mad about my hats. My business manager was like, Hey, they're twenty dollars a hat. I was gonna say that's not like the thing if, thing if you're if he's collecting something, that's let it okay. be that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't. I I was ke- getting, I was buying hatchets and and tomahawks at a pretty quick clip. And cigars. I was, uh, I, have cigars. Cigar I have cigars. I have. I, I am a casual cigar smoker. I I go through runs. I have a great humidor, the mm. best humidor in the world. But um, no, I don't really. I feel bad about. I I don't mind spending money, to like. I don't mind spending money. But I feel weird spending money on myself at times. Sure. Is that totally. like, oh my yeah. God, for other people or other situations, it's like, yeah, whatever. But is this the clip? This fellas? <laughs> fellas! I am the smallest today. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it, Bernie. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, let's uh, delete that off your phone, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> It was weird. It was in the favorites, but yeah. <laughs> the, um, you pumped for your movie? Yeah. Is that are you nervous for your movie? No. No. I mean, gonna, you know I, it's going to be a smash, right? Well, I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it's going to be a smash. Bro, you never can tell. You know it's going to be a smash. I don't know if it's going to be a smash. I think that I think people like you it. guys. That was going to be a smash. I right? think it's well. <laughs> it's good. No, 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 it's good. Honestly, I'm not even. It? 
Yeah. Not the most, not the finalist. Yeah. I, I, even the, the, from what little I've seen, the movie's going to be great. That movie could suck. It's going to be a smash. <laughs> I hope. I hope people enjoy it. I you hope people enjoy it. I don't, I, I'm that really will disconnected. Ride for you. It's funny you do stuff. Even like my last special, my last special is without a doubt the best special I've ever done. The best, I think, the best work I've ever done in it. And I the one filmed coming out or the one that though I just just the, recorded yeah, the right, one right, coming right, right. out. Right. I, record, I recorded four shows, and three of the shows were the best shows I'd ever done in all of this material. That's got to feel and, so good when you know you nail the special filming. It does, but still, you just kind of like like uh, like you go. It's weird. You get a disconnect where you're like, oh, I hope it's fucking good. Oh, yeah. Like, you just I totally like, you feel that. like that. And yeah. I don't know the right way to compartmentalize those feelings. So I go, and then when it is good, like, like, Secret Time, I was, I, 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 I was like, we got it. And then I saw the edit and I was like, okay, I got to fix it a little bit. And then we did it. And then you sit, they sit on it for a little bit. And then when you come out, you're like, I hope you like it. Forget. And then yeah. Secret Time was probably, probably, I guess, my best special that I did, that I've done out of all the specials because it just was like, old material so i had so much material so thick with it the only thing i got way better with hey big boy this one this one is like i think my best special i think i think it's uh i think i still do the thing people like but i think i've grown Getting, yeah, 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 yeah doing new you, know? Um, you ever think about trying to do like something new different next or you're just happy doing like what you do uh, like do. are you ever like i want to be the first to like change comedy in this way or you know, or you just like I do movies and and comedy, and I make my money and my podcast, and I'm happy. Or do you want to like be like Bert Kreischer was the guy who invented blah blah blah, and or change the the, well, the road did, of I did some of that. I did do some of that. It's funny, I because I, I would get caught up in the idea of like like with the drive-in movie theater tours. I yeah, created, oh, I created yeah, that yeah, drive-in so movie theater to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. And so and then with uh, with fully loaded, I did fully loaded, which is you know really kind of the first traveling festival produced by a comic you know and yeah that is yeah yeah and so uh i the problem i run into now is not a lot of people are saying no to me meaning my inner circle it, because i've hit because i've gotten so lucky on so many things like the perfect example perfect example is a teaser leaking the teaser on rogan and then everyone was like like oh all right so what's next and then i go well, we'll just i'll shoot the announce for the movie and then even shooting the announce, I was like, I don't, is this going to work? And then we accidentally ran over my fucking foot. And I was like, <laughs> okay, we got something. Mm -hmm. And then it goes viral. And then, and then, and then, of and course, then you got a movie company saying, so just so we're all on the same page. And this is why I think everyone's so happy with that we're working with is so like, we haven't spent any money yet. Mm -hmm. we haven't, they haven't spent any money to announce the movie. They haven't spent any money, all the stuff that normally you would put money behind. You know what you should do is say, I'll do all this promotion. You just have to give me the money. Well, I, I think, say, I think that's, that's, the, that's the goal. My goal is, was, so we just bought a house What we've, we're building an entire production studio out of. We put podcast studios in one, two, three. We have four podcast studios in there. We have an edit bay in there. We're building a kitchen to do something's burning out of. Mm -hmm. And my goal ultimately is to have that be a media company where when I do a project, like so the next movie I'm doing, I would like to be, uh in the running for doing the behind the scenes and then hire manzi to do behind the scenes and then have my team cut behind the scenes and then have a media company doing all that because I, i'm already kind of doing a lot of the promotion myself like when, yeah. we, uh, when we announced the machine that was me and my cousin andrew and we were like we'll just figure it out we have a private jet we have mark hamill i mean how can we lose and so that, that shit works yeah. so much better than whatever <clears throat> sony like their ad spend is yeah you know the, those well, things I mean, always be more of i gotta be honest with the people at sony it's like working with them is like crazy because you forget oh these guys earned their job there like they didn't no one's gifted a job in these companies uh -huh. and you're so you're talking to like really smart people mm -hmm. even with like legendary and sony or like i'd where i just do movies for them i do movies with them like i i mean I, I would i would there's i've not worked with one person on those things that didn't know a hundred times more than me and wasn't the coolest fucking person yet like i i'm not i'm running really? a bad mood dude See, i i would think like someone like you where you're like i know how to do this don't fucking tell me anything no i listened we went we had a big like fucking 18 person zoom and as everyone's talking and i'm like going like i'd say a stupid idea and they weren't gonna they didn't like diminish me they'd be like actually hold on what if we did that's not a bad idea but what if we did and then you really? talk about yeah it was re it's really fucking 
Well, I told, I, I told, think, I told I legendary to you too. I told legendary sign me for five machines, five machine movies. I want to do five machine movies, and that's it. That's all I'll do. I'll do just that. That's it. Huh? And yeah, and then <laughs> just yeah. A, a meek, measly, <laughs> humble five <laughs> movies. I was like, I was like, sign me up for all. If this machine, if if the machine does well, I am a hundred percent committed to doing a sequel. Yeah. And and if we're doing a sequel, we might as well do two. Yeah. I, and I always say, if you go past, if you go to four, you might as well go Fast and the Furious and go. Yeah, like, yeah. I, just I just keep going. Hit the yeah. Fallen franchise, the Fast franchise, classic yeah. films. Yeah, dude. Uh, but no, but I'm, I'm, I want to do I, with stand up. I this arena tour that I'm doing is probably the biggest thing I've ever, I've ever undertaken because it's a lot more. Than just touring, it's it's you have to tour the stage, you have to tour the bus, another bus for the crew. You have twelve people crew. You have sound lighting, I, audio visual. I mean, cost, it's just. I mean, I'm sure you're making money hand over fist, but the cost must be. And, well, crazy. No, I mean, it, it, you'd be you don't break even. You do make money, but it's but you do in order to put on a good arena show, you got to invest money. So, so uh, Interesting. yeah, and so this is the biggest thing. I I think after fully loaded. Uh, I'm doing the cruise, which I never thought I'd do. Oh, I'm doing yeah, the cruise, right, right. and I'm doing, I'm doing Red Rocks again, and I think I'm just gonna do movies. In, I would like, I would like my. Uh, this is also the thing I think I believe in luck. I believe when you say it out loud, people hear it and they make it happen. But uh, I'm gonna, I would like to do movies this fall, and then uh, do like two movies, and uh, and then, and then. Well, you I, mean more machine stuff, or like, I, I've like signed I, up. I've signed up for and and you couple. mean you acting or producing acting or and producing oh, yeah, yeah. Really? acting and producing yeah. yeah i love producing the you, part you, you saw great, the part like, you saw that, that thing shit. i showed you where the guy goes oh and that's i i i gave him that i Smart. went over i went well hey i think it'd be funny if you did this i i think we're coming into a generation of like people like yourself but also people who are fans of you and people who grew up on our type of comedy mm -hmm. are now going to be like the executives and the CEOs and the producers and the directors yeah. who find those things fun, you know, like the old guard is out and I mean, or, you, or on their way you... out still. And the new things of like, why don't you listen to the comic or, you know, it's not just a, a podcast or that, you know what I mean? Like we were talking those about important this, people. We were talking they... about this yesterday at pancakes. If you, I mean, if you look at the, the, the comics that I've, I, I say this with Burt cast exclusively because some of this burning is a little different. As with something's burning, I you the more it's more of a high profile show that I I want you want bigger names on it and you, and and it's different. Birdcast, I can sit one on one with a comic that hasn't popped yet and do a fucking interview, just hang out and bullshit and talk. And it, I think it does so much good for comedy. I'm, I'm not saying like I'm some philanthropist, but I will say that I the people that I've had on Birdcast that before they did anything. Like before they did anything, before they were doing anything, have now become the biggest podcasters in, in the, the world. fucking world. Yeah. And 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 I'm not saying I discovered them. I definitely didn't discover them. No, but, but it's, it's, them it's a, but I do think there is something to be said to giving people an opportunity to learn and to fuck around. I love that and on a fucking smaller ha scale. Having and, our our barstool crew, yeah. of fans who are rabid for us, and then being like, no, 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 this guy's really funny, dude. And then they and then they're like, you're right, like all of our fans reacting being like that was so funny i went and watched their special and it was great or whatever it is it, it's like when you're the first person to have you heard this song yet or you know mm -hmm. news before somebody else yeah like getting to put people on to others is awesome i mean i don't mean to like uh, look i'm not gonna blow my spot up right now but i will pat myself on my back for one thing i have miss pat on my podcast probably Forever, 12 yeah. years ago yeah no way i had miss pat on when she lived in annapolis and just was doing like just local clubs and like doing a little touring she came in and i call and did my podcast she walked in her adult son took off his shoes and got in my hotel bed and went to sleep <laughs> and and i was in a hotel room in indianapolis and then she provided the most amazing three-hour interview i've ever done in my life yeah it opened up with, I said, I'm told I should ask about your nipple. And she goes, now that guy shut off on a drug deal. Oh, what other right. stupid question yeah. are you going to ask? <laughs> and I immediately called Ari. I go, uh, you need to get Miss Pat on your fucking podcast. Mm -hmm. And he's like, who is she? I said, you need to get Miss Pat on your podcast. Ari did a podcast. He released his before mine, but 
I turn them. Oh, and then, son of a bitch. And, then, <laughs> and by the way, all the gold stories she told. Like, I, we, we got a couple of the same stories. I was like, motherfucker. That, you know that, that happened to us. That's Sorry, worse than it. drugging you. <laughs> Stealing that vodka. No, no, he, he, he did it. With her and then released it th that day, and then right, mine was but, the week after. But still, it's yeah. like if I tell you to do it and then you put it out first. The it. day we decided we don't fucking wait anymore is we had Soldier Boy. Oh my we God. had Soldier Boy on the podcast. This is five, six years ago. We had Soldier Boy on the show, and then he went and he did the Breakfast Club after us. And it's like the viral clip that people see where it's like, Drake! Do you remember that? Drake! Yeah. So, so, so you see, like, there's a gift. Like, he just walks, he's like, Drake! Soldier Boy is very, he's actually a very funny rapper, but he actually yeah. is very, um, he was like the first to use the internet and YouTube. Yeah. And so he's actually pretty like uh, forward thinking. And somebody gave uh, Drake credit instead of him. And he was like, Drake, the Drake, and he said it at our show like that first, and we were like, "All right, the show comes out tomorrow. That's a great clip. We'll have that." Yeah. And he went somewhere else and did it. He live. went to the Breakfast Club. Yeah, the Breakfast, club. The breakfast and they, club. And afterwards. they did it, and they got all the credit. And and it's like, like oh. it's still uh, widely used, like yeah. gifting, and it just would have been like in like, our right, studio never yeah. again. Do we hold yeah. the clip? It's crazy how fast you got. Well, what's like, crazy is that like I put out, but Miss Pat is is someone who we put on the podcast, and our numbers were huge on it on it. Someone no one knew. Right, like yeah. someone no one knew. Or I remember Ari's came out and he was like, he was like, dude, that's fucking great. And then it, it came out. What's the matter? Oh, it comes out. Mine comes out, and then both of us were like, she needs to be on Rogan immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing I think with with Birdcast is like I can have dudes like like uh like I won't, I won't say anyone's names, but like uh, guys who maybe don't do a ton of podcasts or don't come to L.A. or don't or put out specials on YouTube and maybe aren't getting on rogan or you guys or on, on fucking part of my take like they're, they're yeah, not getting on them but I, I have time and I'll, I'll put them on i know but you're also you, you know burtcast is still <laughs> oh it's still a big podcast but it's but i can but i measure it i measure it with like i'll have you guys on you guys will do great numbers uh i'll have tim on i'll have just stefano on i'll have all the guys that do great numbers right but people but gotta you remember own... i had the stefano on way back in the day uh, i yeah, had yeah. i had tim Dillon on like Where right when he was trying to figure out should he move to LA, right. like, yep. and so yep. those guys and those guys weren't getting huge numbers at the beginning, but then as they blow up, everyone goes back and checks out the catalog, and those numbers all skyrocket, and you're yep. like, yeah, they're fucking. I bangers. love that man. I, I'm. It, there's kind of been a little comedy revolution, golden era, whatever with yeah. this, whether it was COVID, podcasting, whatever it was. And I want to know, like, who's the next crop? Well, that's of the thing. Why that's are the they going to pop? And well, because there was, the, yeah. there was COVID. But then there was also Patreon. There was things that happened that, you know, Stavi. I remember Stavi falling in love with Stavi. Stavi. Yeah. I remember falling in love with Stavi. Independent of everything. Mm -hmm. I I discovered, I heard the name. I met Stavi a long time ago. And I just thought he, he just made me giggle, right? He just everything, made me the giggle. Look, yeah, the look, the voice, about the, 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 the wit. You I know, follow hilarious. him on Instagram. I, I Everything he posts, I'm giggling at, right? Uh, I get, I randomly see come town somewhere and i start giggling at the name come town mm -hmm. and i hear them break down a movie and i think i signed up for their patreon but i hear them break down a movie and the way they did it was so the way me and my friends talk yeah that i went i went i fucking love these guys That's the i love these the guys game, man and but like those guys like i i i, I mean there is something to be said for the fact that the chefs know who the good cooks are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, right, or the right. cooks know who the good chefs, or whatever the thing is. But like, if you're like, you there's know like, like Maddie fucking Smith, yes. right, like right. Maddie but, fucking but, Smith, but, like Mark like, Smalls. We, we mm. see, you know, them coming up, but it's like, you know, which one of those is going to be the monster? You never which know who's going to be the, the monster. Breakout. I could have tell. I could, I could very t quickly tell you that. Uh, uh, I, I, I knew tim dylan was tim dylan had so many takes on so many different things he knew yeah. so much about mm -hmm. so much and the way politics went was so perfect oh. for him trump was so perfect for him the the way the world just unfolded was amazing for him bobby kelly's a good a good taste maker like mm -hmm. he can tell you guys are gonna pop mm -hmm. and bobby does what i do is he puts on a lot of like young dudes for and, sure like, and you kind of gives back yeah, yeah bobby's really fucking great about that um you need that and, and, and there's some people who don't do that kind of shit. And if it's I can, good if, on you guys for doing. If it. I can, here's my goal. If I can have this house down the street where I go in, and and I I really want to. I, I have a, a theory. I think we've all group come up with it together. 
the the idea is uh, uh, boil the bones and eat the hoofs. So like I want to get every ounce of money out of everything mm-hmm. of content mm-hmm. we get, and mm-hmm. so I want to make sure we fucking milk it. So like I'm trying to figure out because like w- the way you guys do it, when you guys go in, it's like I remember I went in one time. I think I did part of my take the golf pod shit cast, then you guys, mm-hmm. then ask the internet, and then I was like. <laughs> God damn it! That's like that's like fucking ten million people right yeah, there. Yeah, right. yeah. Like, right. That's right. a fucking. And you know what? I love watching you guys do it too. And, and a lot of the comedy world is adopting it, but the the really strong ones like your camp does it because we, you guys were live and came to the internet. Yeah. And we're internet coming live, you know. So we have been filming with our phones or with camera every fucking thing we've done since you know 2010. Yeah. And watching like. Nancy walking in front of us with the cameras at all time with the phone yeah. at all because you never know when the moment's going to be, you know? Yeah. And you have to be, it's kind of annoying. I'm sure it sucks for, you know, to be filming everything all the time, but watching you guys embrace the internet is like, yeah. Yes, do it's it. It's got to be like there's so many people. We're going to so do, we're going to have, we're going to have something's burning. Like, so Legion of Skanks is my first one. So that's the uh, secret time, I guess I could say. Your secret first. time. Legion of Skanks is my first, uh, my first, um, uh, project so like i'm gonna see how that works so i'm flying them out oh okay i'm flying them out we're all doing a something's burning we are then all all doing a podcast i'm doing a podcast with dave smith uh i think lewis is doing a podcast with leanne and then okay cool big j is gonna do one with stanhope's coming out the next day big j will stay and do one with stanhope and then i want them each to do my um i do a thing called open tabs where i leave all the tabs open on my phone throughout mm-hmm. the weekend and then I just go through and close them and tell people what I learned <laughs> and I want to do an open tabs that. with them. I want to, but I don't know the right way to do it. I don't know if it's a, if it's an ask the internet type thing where it's just a one clip, but, um, but big J is the best to watch cops with. Oh, I can like, watch cops with do what well, I mean, what we, Dude, ba- so we basically did. Like we, we, we watched, we did a live skanks where we said about 10 total words um but big j was what, what were we watching? it was like uh so it was like an internet funny. video that was supposed to be teaching you about racism and and what I, it was and he it just was he just, just live sitting commented. there watching and yeah we were awesome. we were basically just in the audience yeah. that. He, <laughs> he with he, that like on the spot is he brought me over and he goes i was i mean i was this is a very this is the reason i'm a ride or die for big j i've been partying and i'd had too much coffee and i was having really bad anxiety attacks and I like th- thought I was fucking dying and uh I went around and I I went and did a bonfire and Big J could see that I was something's off about me mm-hmm. and he goes uh he goes you want to what are you doing now and I was like no I have nothing I think I don't know I said Big J I gotta be honest with you I can't go to my fucking hotel room like I don't want to drink I don't want to I just want to fucking relax somewhere I want to be home I don't want to I want to get mm-hmm. on a fucking plane yeah. And he goes, why don't you just come down to my place and we'll watch cops? And I went, what? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, maybe, maybe we'll make a drink, maybe we'll have a joint, but but we'll see. He goes, yeah. why don't you come down? And he goes, he goes, I'll grab some barbecue. He goes, come on. So me, him, and Christine got in the car, went down to his house. We go in. He immediately puts on his pajamas, like he's like his, like his <laughs> Eagles jersey, like right, yep. and then sits like crisscross applesauce on his couch. And he goes, hey, I watch the beginning of the Canon special, and I'm like, what? And he goes, it's. <laughs> awesome <laughs> and, and he's like he's like and so we light a joint and we take a little hit of a joint and we fucking have a few drinks and and my anxiety went away and we're sitting on his front porch and his front stoop and i'm having another drink and his neighbor comes out you know jay knows everyone so he's busting balls with his neighbor and it's like 11 o'clock at night and he's like how you feeling and i said i'm feeling great jay and he goes awesome man i'll go home i'll, I'll see you next time you come in town and i was like wow so then he texts like guardian me, angel he texts me and he goes I'm really glad we're, we're, we're we've become closer friends. And I was like, I was like, Jay, I'm, I'm, I it means a lot to me. I really is. Next time you come into New York, he goes, How about you come in a day early and me and you just hang out? And I was like, Okay. So the next time I came to New York, I got in a day early <laughs> and I go straight to Jay's house and he goes, the he, goes again? he goes, My buddy Wayne's watching videos on his roof from YouTube. <laughs> 
<laughs> you want to go? And I go, yeah. And so we go up and we get <laughs> fucked up on hey, some roof. You want to watch YouTube videos? I love that. <laughs> and it Wayne. was like, yeah. And Dude, I was Wayne's like, the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we went on some roof and watched YouTube videos. <laughs> and then I went to my hotel room and I was like, I'm so glad I came in a day early to <laughs> hang out with Jay. <laughs> yeah, those are the things There's that are so important. Many. Is like those that Ari does it a lot where he tries to get people to do stuff as a group. I've had some really great trips mm -hmm. with Ari, like really, really great trips with Ari where he gets all the comics to do stuff. But uh, this has been a fucking blast. Man, uh, cannot thank you enough for it. Don't, really uh, no, uh, both of you shut up. It's not done. There's another night. No, but for the sake of when you're <laughs> listening to this podcast, this was what we should know, do. I mean, there's just it's it's there's what we should do is we should add, what we should do is we should just add to the list. So what we'll do is next trip, it's you guys and then Plus, two other guys. Yeah. Yeah. Keep adding people, adding people. I was wondering who I was gonna get shit from. <laughs> Lee Han is on the other going. No, you're not. You, you know, you know the one guy that texted me that I did not expect to text. Anthony Anderson. <laughs> told us this. Anthony yeah. Anderson texted me and was like, "Oh, how? Where's my trip to Amsterdam?" Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Anthony Anderson, fun as fucking really? shit. Yeah. Fun. I gotta say this. I gotta say this. Anthony. Anderson, Where did you work with him on TV? On fuck on uh, the cabin. The cabin. Yeah, I've done a ton of shit. I forget sometimes. I was like, "Well, how does Anthony?" I was like, "Oh yeah, that guy showed up. I mean, hair and makeup ready, ready to fucking work." great attitude energy up to here anything you asked of him he did a beekeeper outfit immediately really uh, pulling bees out of the thing uh rolfing massage he did everything and he delivered and he i mean he is such a fucking natural talent that i i i'm i fucking would do anything with that guy you him? ever see him in the shield uh yeah dude he was a bad motherfucker in the shield dude for he, a guy who like you know he did the sitcom and he's like yeah. happy and funny he was fucking evil on that shit that was awesome the, the big j showed up that morning and he had been out all night it was me big j dion cole and anthony anderson and big j had been out all night in new york he had got on an 8 a.m flight and got it in at 8 a.m they took him right to set he shows up a set at like 9 30 10 o'clock and i i anytime this happens to me i think of jay his, he had slept on his beard wrong. So his beard was off to the side. He was hung over as fuck. And he goes, and he sees me and he goes, hey, I'm ready to work. And I go, I go, are you Jay? <laughs> he goes, he sees we have different definitions of ready. The best, the best thing he goes, the, he sees Georgia the other day and he goes, he's just such a sweet guy. He goes, God, you've grown. You've gotten so big. When was the last time I saw you? And Georgia goes, you were wrestling my dad in a tub full of lube. <laughs> and he goes, that was it, huh? Yeah. That was the last time I saw him. That was the last time I saw him. Hey, man, they grow up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Dude, well, I, the, I think the biggest, the uh, I don't even know the word for it, but for a guy who's had so many experiences and memories and success and all that shit, to even know that this part of this trip like breaks breaks your top moments oh. of like you know what i mean to be like yo I was, I was laughing with you when i was laughing with you the fact that we had a moment with with burke kreischer in amsterdam that is like for the machine mm -hmm. level that is it's an honor to even be a oh. part of it it was a fucking blast boys let's do it again honor. tonight well, let's, let's go do it let's again. do it again tonight <laughs> one more i am ready <laughs> <laughs>